Hello. Oh, my microphone is very high. Hello. Good good morning. Um, maybe that? Yeah. Test, 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 test. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Austin, hello. Thank you for redeeming the first. Congratulations. Your very first first. Wow. Razor and Andy are slacking. Usually one of them snatches it. Um, I also didn't tell anybody I was going to stream today, so that could also be part of it. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Um, I did get a later start than I meant to. Whoops. Oops. Um, for two reasons. One, I was keeping an eye on, there was a vote today in the main state legislature um, of whether or not to uh, initiate impeachment proceedings against our Secretary of State, who famously now um, made the determination that Donald Trump was not eligible to be on our ballot, which is going to end up in front of the Supreme Court. And they're probably going to say that that was unconstitutional, even though that was just her doing her job. Um, and so he's probably going to end up getting on the ballot either way. But um, the GOP here tried to impeach her. Um, so the legislator, le legislature voted it down, so she will not be impeached. But I was watching that to see how that turned out. And then I was also watching... Um, Gaming Magazine announced the nominees today for the Gaming Awards for this year. So I wanted to see how many people I know ended up on the list. And actually quite a few. I was pretty impressed. I was pretty impressed. Um, this is the award. They've done it for a couple years now. The first year, um, the award for LGBTQ Streamer of the Year went to Deer. And then last year, it went to Trashly. So we've got kind of like a Stream Queens thing going on. Um, there are two Stream Queens nominated this year. So SB Simone. And Elix are both nominated. Very slay. Um, Evo is also nominated, who's another drag streamer on Twitch. Um, I think out of, there are, I think, eight people who were nominated. So crossing my fingers that we keep the streak alive. And um, what else? Uh, oh, the, there's an award for LGBTQ contribution to esports. And um, Kylie Gabor, who is a stream queen as well, um, does an event every month. Um, called Slaypex, which is an Apex Legends tournament specifically for queer folk. Um, that event was nominated, but also so was Team Overture, which I'm part of. So very exciting to see some familiar faces and names recognized for their very hard work. Baldur's Gate was nominated for pretty much everything, which I think was kind of to be expected. Um, it's a good game, and I understand lots of people love it. <laughs> I'm the type of person, though, like, I hate seeing, um, like, I have a hard time, it, and this is the same with, like, the Grammys or the Oscars, anything like when you see the same thing, win everything, just like, come on now. Was it really that much better than everything else? But that's just my personal opinion. Nobody asked. Nobody asked for my take, but that's it. There it is. Um, so I anticipate Baldur's Gate's probably going to win a whole bunch of those awards. Um, which, again, so be it. Um, I think for me, it's, it's more a matter of, and there, there was a good kind of short conversation on the stream about, like, what constitutes an indie studio. So technically, Larian Studios, who created Baldur's Gate 3, is an indie studio because they don't have tons and tons of uh, different titles. That said, it's also a, a very large studio and also a very well-funded studio, generally speaking. Certainly compared to a lot of other indie studios. Um, another studio that would fall very much within the same sort of like gray area <laughs> is Behavior, who of course created Dead by Daylight, where technically they're still an indie studio because they have Dead by Daylight and then they've got like Hooked on You, but that's like built off of Dead by Daylight. Um, and then they have that other one that they just launched not too long ago, um, Meet Your Maker. But they're still technically an indie studio, even though they're very well established um, and certainly much larger than a lot of indie studios are. So part of me is like, okay, they're indie studios, but they're also like not that indie, if you know what I mean. So there are a lot of these like very small studios that are maybe like five people who are in the same categories and competing with like Baldur's Gate. And it's like, 
Come on now. That's, I think, the thing, Austin, is, like, technically indie, there's no, like, as far as I know, at least, there's no formal definition or, like, line drawn. Um, it's sort of more of, like, a vibe. <laughs> and so I think there are some studios, like Larian, like Behavior, that definitely don't give off, like, indie studio vibes. And certainly have games that are, like, I don't know, I guess I feel like with an indie studio, it feels like every title they have, like, if it tanks the studio could go under like they it's kind of like they're all in on every new title that they they might launch or they've literally literally built the studio around creating this one game um whereas like you know if behavior launches something that flops they're probably gonna be fine you know but again there's no universally agreed upon determinant there so not that they're the to be clear, like the awards, most of the gaming awards aren't delineated between like AAA and indie. However, generally speaking, we tend to see better and more authentic representation of queer folks from indie games, uh, more intentional representation. I think a lot of the time when we see that sort of representation in AAA games, it's more so like not necessarily because they intentionally said we want to be able to include queer people, but they intentionally leave things like super open ended. So, like, for Baldur's Gate, I know they get a lot of credit for, like, the character creation is is pretty inclusive in the sense that, like, things aren't tied to, like, male and female. You can use whatever voice you want with whatever body you want. You can add whatever kind of, like, combination of body parts and things like that. Um, and it's like, yes, and that's great. Um, and I know there are a lot of, like, queer storylines and things built into it, but, like, is that really representation or is that just like taking off the restrictions that were that we placed on them for no reason? Is that the same thing as like intentional storytelling and uh, world building that includes and centers queer people? I guess if I ever create an award show, that's the, the, the conversation we'll have. But um, yeah, well, that 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 can go either way, Austin. Some some of them do. Um, it's also rare that you see indie games or indie studios releasing like multiplayer games like that. A lot of time indie indie games are more solo, uh, more single player because they don't need as much like server space and such. Uh, but they'll do like DLCs and things. But um, and behavior would argue that that's why they don't have more titles. Is that because they're constantly bringing out they're constantly churning out new shit for for Dead by Daylight. <clears throat> So that they wouldn't be able to maintain. It's the it's sort of what Overwatch dealt with, where they were like, we could give you the PVE that you're looking for, but if we do, then we're not gonna be able to maintain the current game too. Not that that's an indie studio, but anyway, very interesting. Uh, so congratulations again to all the nominees. Very exciting. Um. Deer's also one of the judges, uh, not judges. Uh, well, they're probably having her vote, but um, she's one of the hosts, which is exciting. So the hosts will be Deer and Milady Confetti. Um, I don't know if I'll tune in. I have... Um, Gaming Magazine doesn't have like a great reputation amongst creators <laughs> on Twitch in particular. Um, especially that they've got... There are many, many people. I would say I've seen at least six or seven different like Twitter threads. Hi, Razor. Um, from people who had trouble getting paid for the work that they've done with gaming mag so whether they've done like a stream for them or been part of an event or whatever it might be um there are a lot of folks i've seen who've like been like oh they just never paid me or i had to like harass them to get paid most recently twy who's one of those stream queens um was like you were supposed to pay me in 30 days that didn't happen then they were like moved the goalpost and said it was going to be 60 and then they didn't pay within 60 days either and so um just a lot um of of that sort of thing. So I'm not really sure how I feel about Gaming Magazine, um, but they are also one of the like few orgs out there that are doing this sort of like work to platform the things that queer creators and, and game devs are doing. Back from the back, got some meds for the kitty. Good, well, I hope he's okay. Hope the meds clear up whatever's going on. <clears throat> Hmm. 
It was a little scary, I'll be honest, last night when you knocked out. I was like, oh my gosh. Is everything okay? Because it went from, oh, I'll be right back, and you, like, closed your camera to, boom, off of Overwatch, boom, closed the computer. Like, this is this an emergency? Very wig. Hi, Beth. How are you, friend? I was lurking in your stream last night. I fell asleep once again. The dulcet tones of you yelling at Ogre. Once again, um, he was, the last thing I remember, he was playing tank um, on King's Row. And you were yelling at him because he kept, he was playing D.Va, I think. And he kept running away and you couldn't heal him. <laughs> Which I think is probably par for the course, but. But. Crystals forming, that's not good. That's not good. Well, manifesting um healing vibes for Kitty. Um, we have a lot to talk about today. There's a lot going on, specifically amongst the games that we play. Kind of a perfect storm. So we have a new Dead by Daylight PTB, which I do want to check out later if we've got the time and if I continue to have power. So the like overarching <laughs> problem with all of this is we're getting another fucking storm here in Maine today. <sniffs> another windstorm. So uh, it's looking like winds of like 40 to 50 miles an hour and then gusts could be up to like 60, 70 miles an hour, which are pretty similar to the same conditions that left us without power for two days last time. And I'm really not looking forward to having to deal with that. Although it looks like this time it's gonna be a lot warmer than it was last time. Um, hi, Heron. Um, that's supposed to start at like six or seven tonight and then go pretty much all day tomorrow. So we're going to stay on as long as we can and hope for the best. But if I end up getting booted off, uh, just know it's probably because my house blew away. And it's been nice knowing all of you. Somebody make sure Goose goes to a nice home. Hanging out right here. His usual spot. We got power back here sooner last time, so that's good. Um, I'm also, I think, I'm not sure, um, but I think we had heat here last time because I think we have propane for our heat. We had warm water. It wasn't hot water, but I remember we came here last time. We didn't have electricity on here at, this, at that point, um, but we came here to take showers because there was warm water here. And there was not at our old place. So I think that we might be able to keep our heat on. Question mark. Um, at the very least, we had warm water. So, But yes, I think I'm also... We, we got power back sooner here than we did in our old place. So fingers crossed that, um, that it works out. I really don't want to go through all that again. Um, at all. But I'll do it if I have to. Um, what else is going on? I have an interview next week. Still haven't heard from the company that told me they'd let me know early this week whether or not they're going to hire me. But I have a first round interview next week. I also got an email today from, um, there was a college, a higher ed institution that I had been to the final round of. And I was so sure they were going to hire me and then they didn't for this part-time role. Um, the person who did the hiring, the one who was like, you're a rock star, you're so great, and then didn't hire me. She messaged me on LinkedIn today um, because they have another role open that reports to her that's a full-time role. Um, and she's like, I know it didn't work out for the part-time role, but if you're interested, would love to see you throw your name in here. And I was like, first off, I'm not going to say it to her. But my first response was, no, 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 no. It's not that it didn't work out for the part-time role. You didn't choose me. It worked out for you. You got someone you wanted for the role. It only didn't work out for me. Let's be clear. Let's not use this passive language. It's not that it didn't work out. It worked out beautifully for you. It did not work out for me. <laughs> and that was by her choice. Please. Winter storm. I hate winter storms. I mean, I don't like storms in general, but I would much rather deal with like thunderstorms in the summer um, or like heavy rain or whatever than a snowstorm. So it looks like luckily the weather is going to be warm today or tomorrow during most of this. It's supposed to be like 50 degrees tomorrow. Yeah. 
So it looks like for us, it'll be mostly, I think it's going to start as snow and then switch over to rain. So it'll end up being probably some sort of a slush and then mostly rain. Um, but then the same thing that happened last time, because it was pretty warm during the storm last time. And then the next couple days, it was freezing cold. So my concern is it's going to rain. Everything's going to blow over. Everything's going to freeze over. <laughs> and then um, it'll take that much longer to get power back because of that. Maybe she didn't choose you because she knew this full-time role was on the back. But maybe. Maybe. I had told her that my plan was, because I was, I felt really confident in the last role. Um, what I said to her last time was, I'm okay with taking on a part-time role, but know that I'm going to spend a good chunk of that time trying to prove to you and anybody else that I need to that this should be a full-time role. <laughs> that I'm happy to take the part-time role, but um, know that I'm, I'm going to, like, continue pushing for full time so we'll see can't they tap you directly from lap no no that's not how higher ed works i'll have to go through the whole process all over again i am sure of it especially this is a i don't remember seeing a salary range but this is a director role so the last role was like a, some sort of specialist um this one is a director director of something And it's very interesting they didn't post a range. Usually they do. Maybe I'll message her back and be like, hey, do you know, is there a range? Um, so this is a director role. So I think this is still, I think she's getting a promotion because this title is very similar to the title she had when I was interviewing with her before. She was the director. <laughs> so I think she's getting a promotion to vice president of something. And so I think this is not exactly the role that she was in, but um, similar to the role that she was in. So. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to that then at all. Yeah, director is <laughs> director is one of those like blanket titles though that can mean a lot of different things depending on. Not, I'm not trying to be negative, but like I've spent a lot of time applying for jobs, <laughs> and I've I've applied for a lot of director jobs, and. Um, Director means different things to different people, so we'll see. Um, director is higher than I ever got in higher ed before. So my last higher ed job, my supervisor was the director. So I know what she made. I would want maybe a little bit more than she made because I know that the place I worked before does not pay well at all, um, but we'll see. At this point, I'm also not really in a position to be super picky, so um, I will probably apply. And, you know, however, uh, my next rent is due in seven days, so I'm going to need a job sooner rather than later because we're already cutting it close on hitting rent this month. We'll be doing a tipathon this weekend, assuming I still have power. Um, so get ready for that because, again, my rent is due. And then again on the first. <laughs> but luckily, again, I live in a place now that's much more affordable, so... Uh, I don't need to raise quite as much in order to pay to pay the rent. And I'm hoping that by time I have to pay rent on the first, my de security deposit from our last place will be back. So. I don't pay rent. Well, I do right now. So it's because my rent was prorated. So we moved, our lease started here on December 16th. And our lease at our last place ended on December 31st. Um, so we pay you, when we moved in, we paid a security deposit and first month's rent. So that rent took us from December 15th to January 15th. So rather than keep us paying on the 15th or 16th of every month, um, we're paying this one time, like two week point just to reset us and put us back on the first. So it's only a half rent. So instead of paying the full amount, um, I only have to pay half, which is also very good. <laughs> um, so it took a lot for me to explain that to Jared. He, I think he thought I was trying to like, bamboozle some more money out of him but i was trying to explain we're actually paying less this way um but i don't think he saw it that way. so yeah so we pay two weeks worth of rent on the 16th but then on february 1st we start back on our first of the month bs so, um so get ready we'll be doing a tipathon. tell your friends <laughs> tell your friends we're cutting it very close this month um, but again, I'm hoping that sometime this week I'll hear from this um, consulting thing. And even if it's only part-time that they, they're looking for someone, 
or they were talking about doing like a freelance thing. Um, that will help. So that will help. Hi, Botch over on Live Space. How are you? Oh, I forgot to change. I always forget to change my title over on. Um, because you can't change it before you go live. You can only change it once your stream's already live. And that always throws me off. There we go. Income is, exactly, exactly, exactly. Uh, I'm fortunate that I think if I, I could probably get by with a part-time job for a little while. Um, probably not full-time. I also haven't been to the doctor, so I don't have healthcare right now. I don't have insurance or anything. Um, and I've got some, like, chronic illness stuff that I just haven't been dealing with. So ideally, something full-time with benefits would be beautiful <laughs> because I also can't afford to go to the doctor. Um, <laughs> and that's probably going to bite me in the butt eventually. So, um, yeah. Anyway, not to, like, dump on you all the first 20 minutes of stream, but that's where we're at. Yeah, thanks, America. Thanks, Biden. Uh, oh, enjoy your ads, Twitch. So oh, sorry. Love you. Mean it. Um, so that's where we're at. That's where we're at. You're ecstatic. I'm so good. So glad to hear that, Botch. All right, are we ready to jump into some, um, some Overwatch? I figured we'd go through the patch notes together first, um, and then we'll jump in. I guess there were a lot more changes than a lot of people were expecting. That's interesting. Um, a lot more uh, tweaks to specific heroes. Well, let's break it all down. Um, I won't spend a ton of time on the patch notes, just because um, I don't. there are a lot of heroes I don't play, so... The changes to them aren't going to make that much of a difference to me personally, other than when I play against them. But Beth is thirty eight percent the drama. I think that's a healthy amount. I think thirty eight is a pretty good amount. Thank you all for joining me today. I know a lot of you are like working, so I appreciate you. Throw me up on your like second screen or while you're on break or whatever. Helps keep the lights on. Make sure you're following me on all the socials. Go retweet my going live tweet. That's free, easy uh, promo. We are also live on Live Space. If you're not already following me there, I would appreciate it. Um, I will say that the viewer experience is probably better on Twitch, at least for now, um, just because Live Space is still kind of working on some stuff. There's also a really long, and I don't know why or how. I put in a support ticket and I'm waiting to see um, what they say, but there's a pretty big delay for me on live space, and it doesn't seem like a lot of other folks have that problem, but I sure do, <laughs> um, and it makes it really hard to, like, connect with people in real time, um, which is something I realize I rely on pretty heavily, so. Taking my mom to a concert in July, she's finally going to meet the of life, the perfect experience that we've So I've been five times. Oh, that's fun. That's fun. That'll be a good time. Um, my mom is a huge Elvis and Beach Boys fan. And a few years ago, the Beach Boys just happened to come to like our part of the world. Um, and I took her and it was the coolest thing to see. Like, because my mom's like a pretty like quiet, reserved like person. I've never really seen her like get super, super excited about something. She was like losing her shit in the seat. She knew every word to every song. And they were like, they're like 80 years old now. So it was probably not the same as if we were to be able to see them like in their prime um but it was still cool to get to see her like so excited and so uh, so into it like that all right let's look at these patch notes huh Uh, okay. 
Um, so part of this is they announced the upcoming Year of the Dragon event. Um, if you guys remember it from last year, it was pretty fun. Um, it's like the uh, Chinese New Year event that they do each year. Um, so fireworks and festivities for the Year of the Dragon begin on January 30th. Uh, Mischief and Magic Prop Hunt game mode returns. Y'all remember Prop Hunt? That was fun. Um, we didn't really get to play that as much as we are, as much as I wanted to. Um, last year, so maybe we'll make some time to do that this year. Um, on the Lijong Night Market map, with all new props for Rogue here, go to Transform into that will make you look in every direction imaginable. Uh, in addition, celebrate your fan favorite Lunar New Year modes, including Capture the Flag. I loved Capture the Flag and Bounty Hunter Blit. I doesn't know the band's music, but you talk about the lead singer all the time, so all she knows the connection with one another. That's still cool, though. That'll be fun. And something fun to look forward to for the next few months. I'm excited too, Austin. I think it'll be fun. I want to get into playing more of the, like, um, kind of like arcade modes and alternative modes on Overwatch. We tend to stick to like ranked and quick play, um, mostly quick play, obviously. But I'd like to start exploring some of the more like the arcade modes or even some of the custom games, like where you can make your own um, kind of rules and such. I think it'd be really fun to do. Um, all right, let's get into the updates. So Mauga, this is like the headlining. This is one we all knew was coming. We didn't know exactly what was going to happen, but we knew that there were going to be some pretty substantial um nerfs to Malga and they kind of nerfed him across the board which I think a lot of people would say was kind of necessary um I know you do Austin you talk about it all the time um so Malga's health has been increased from 250 to 300 and his armor has been decreased from 250 to 200 so this might look like a buff and then a nerf but what it really means is that they've just converted some of his like overall kit from health to armor that's going to make it easier to knock his health down. So this is a, a nerf, even though it looks like they've just nerfed one and buffed the other. Um, he has less armor, which means it's going to be easier to start dealing actual damage to him rather than just um, taking away that armor. Um, so his guns, he's losing 50 ammo. Probably not a bad idea. Um, cardiac Overdrive, which is his like lifesteal um, ability. So that's been decreased from 70% to 60%. Uh, and cooldown has been increased by two seconds. So again, probably a good change. Um, this is probably one of the ones that'll make it easiest to take him down. I think it's one of the things that have helped kind of sustain him so much and make him so difficult to kill. Um, another big one, his, his ultimate, the cage fight, doesn't give unlimited ammo anymore. So it does refill or reload ammo when you initiate his ult, but it does not give him infinite ammo. Um, that said, it's probably not going to be a, a huge huge difference um he still has 300 ammo so for the duration of of cage fight uh you probably won't run out or have to reload more than once maybe um unless you've got like a uh, kitsune rush going at the same time and you're burning through that ammo faster um but still not a not an insignificant change uh and then berserker his overhealth conversion rate decreased from 60 percent to 50 percent. so aside from like his burn um uh status uh infliction and then um pretty much everything else they've they've nerfed to some extent so i would expect to see i know that one of the big um kind of impacts of malga was that there were a lot of people who just stopped playing competitive because everybody was playing malga especially when you got up into like top 500 it was pretty much always a malga mirror match <laughs> Um, so there were a lot of top 500 players who just weren't even playing competitive anymore. Um, so I would expect to see less of him, especially in competitive. And he's going to be a lot less uh, of kind of a, a pin cushion in that he will be easier to kill, hypothetically. Especially if you play Orisa against him, which we'll talk about in just a moment. So. Be pretty telling how badly it's botched launch. I wouldn't call it a botched map, uh, launch. So if if you've... If you pay attention to like the launches uh, of all the heroes they've done, they generally launch those heroes a little bit stronger or, or more overpowered than they need to be. One, so that people play them more, <laughs> um, so they can get more data as to how people are using them. Um, but they, they've kind of always done it that way, where they'd rather launch a, a hero 
with more than they, than, than it needs and be able to reel that back than to, to launch a hero that nobody's going to use because there isn't enough. Good example of that was Lifeweaver. Uh, you know, they launched Lifeweaver and people were excited because he's like girly pop, um, but then it became pretty clear that he wasn't really where he needed to be to be competitive and nobody was playing him. Um, so I think that history has shown that they would rather launch a hero um, with way more than they need or, or, or substantially more than they need rather than, than less. So I wouldn't call it a botched launch by any stretch. I think this one took longer to come, mostly because of the holiday season. Um, you know, game devs are humans, and so those are people who need time off and time with their families and, and holidays too. So I think it probably feels like Malgo was allowed to kind of stay too strong for a really long time, but I think when you consider all the different variables, it, it just makes sense. So um, I wouldn't necessarily even be surprised if they rel reel some of these back um, because I would anticipate that nobody's gonna use Malga anymore, especially in competitive. So they may need to buff him a little bit in some ways in order to um, in order to make him like a viable option. Character that pushes people to play less sounds pretty, well, I mean, any hero can do that. If I see a, a Widow who knows what they're doing, I'm probably not going to want to play with them. Um, I think it's also really important to remember that just because people aren't playing a hero in top 500 competitive, that doesn't mean that they're not playing him elsewhere. And the issue wasn't even that people were playing less, it's that people were playing him all the time. So, again, I would say that it wasn't botched, and I would say that this was sort of to be expected. But that's your opinion. Um, so again kind of nerfing him like across the board exactly i think it's easy for people to forget that like there are such a wide range of of players for any game and that goes for dead by daylight for fortnite for any any you know these big multiplayer games and i think we tend to think about balancing and patches uh in terms of the way we play and we don't consider that they've got to find a way to balance all of these heroes across all these different game modes and for all these different types of players, we've got casual players who don't give a shit whether they win or lose, who don't give a shit about ranked, who never touch ranked. And then we've got the like, uh, you know, Overwatch, World Cup, top 500, super sweaty, heavy competitive. Um, so you will probably never find a perfect, um, perfect balance because there's also this kind of like rolling meta that we end up with where uh, anytime a change comes out, the first thing people are going to do is find a way to, uh, like, create a meta that works around it. And so that's then going to treat other heroes as though they're overpowered or, or too much. So there will never be, like, a perfect, especially when we talk about also adding a new hero every couple months, too. Like, that then shifts everything. Um, so I think that's just the nature of a game as big as Overwatch is, with as many characters as there are, um, and as many different ways to play. I don't think you're ever going to get to a point where, uh, you know, everybody feels truly happy. So, um, yeah. So lots of nerfs. Um, I already see, I was watching some streams earlier and there was like no Malga to be found. <laughs> so um, I think that this is already working. Um, I don't think anybody knew that Orisa was getting buffed, but... Um, I wonder too if this is going to get changed down the line because I also feel like part of why this came about was because of how strong Malga was. But um, they took off her fall off, her damage fall off. So what that means is that no matter how far away you are from Arissa now, if she hits you, it does the same amount of damage. So it used to be that at a certain distance, I don't remember what the, the distance was, but the damage would reduce. Sort of like how Widows got a damage fall off where from a certain distance and further, uh, she does less damage than if you were closer. Arissa used to work the same way, now she does not. So um, no matter how far away, if she hits you, she's going to do the same amount of damage. Um, I know that specifically Arissa was not performing well against Malga, and I don't know how much of this change is because of that. Um, so I'm not sure if we're going to see this tweaked maybe down the line, uh, or if they just didn't see Arissa getting enough use or winning enough or what it was, but um, interesting to see... Uh, that change. Uh, and then with her Fortify, she's now immune to taking forced critical hit damage. Fortify already prevents direct critical damage from headshots. Um, so that feels like a relatively minor tweak, but um, here we are. Interesting to see how she'll work out. Again, I'm not like a big Arissa player, so 
not a lot to say about that, but um, it does feel like this damage fall off uh, could be interesting to see. In the wild. Um, some nerfs here to Roadhog, um, which I think kind of makes sense. His take a breather, which is his like self heal um, mechanic. Total amount of healing reduced uh, by 50. And then cooldown uh, was increased from one to one and a half seconds. Uh, if you were seeing Roadhog, especially in like competitive, um, which I think they do pay a little more attention to competitive just because those are folks who are generally more committed to playing uh, the heroes the way that they're intended or the way that um, they're best utilized. Um, Roadhog was really hard to kill <laughs> um, because he was able to use this ability so frequently. Um, so this feels like a pretty good tweak. Um, I don't anticipate it's probably going to make a huge difference for a lot of folks. I don't think we're going to see like nobody using Roadhog anymore. Um, so interested to see how that works out too, though. Uh, little tweak here to Sojourn. Um, so with her railgun or with her her weapon, once you've done a certain amount of damage, it feels it fills up a a, a a a meter that you can then use the railgun shot, that kind of like extra um, powerful shot that you can use. Um, once that decays, um, previous prior to this patch, um, it would go all the back, all the meter would go back down to zero. Now you retain twenty five percent of that until you shoot again. Um, so you can retain twenty five percent of that meter uh, until you start firing again. So um, the impact of this is going to be like that people have that railgun shot a little bit more often than they did before um, because they don't have to start at zero to fill up that meter every single time. Um, some tweaks to Sombra. Uh, so the grace period where her stealth can be canceled immediately after entering it. Um, so she's got a little bit more wiggle room to cancel stealth once she's into it. So that's helpful for things like when you're um, on the point. If Sombra's in stealth mode, she doesn't hold the point. Um, cooldown now pauses at one second while capturing or contesting objectives from 1.5 seconds. Uh, and then cooldown on respawning decreased from 1.5 to 1 second. So some survivability there uh, for Sombra that we maybe didn't have before. A uh, little bit of a nerf here to Ana. So her uh, grenade has gone from 3.5 to 3 seconds. Um, again, I feel like uh, some of this is being driven by the like recent Malga meta. Um, Ana was like the obvious counterpick for a Malga. Um, Half a second doesn't sound like a whole lot, but in a lot of cases that can be a big change. So I would expect, especially in competitive again, to see uh, see the effect of something like this. We have some changes to Yarvi. Just bust outside. I thought Goose was going to lose the shit. All right, about that. Um, primary fire charge gain is no longer paused by secondary fire, nor channeling captive sun. So this is the little meter on the bottom that charges up her primary shotgun um, fire. Uh, if you wait, I think it's half a second or one second, it fills up and then she does more damage. Um, so now uh, if you're using your secondary fire, your healing, or using your alt, that meter will still fill fire. Um, if you were using one of your other uh, forms of fire, that meter paused and wouldn't pick up again until you stopped using your heal or your alt. Uh, and then a little increase to her ammo. That said, I don't know if the, I imagine the glitch is still happening with her primary fire where you can force a bug that gives you unlimited Il Ilari ammo. I'm sure they're going to fix that as soon as they can. Uh, they won't let that last for long. Uh, and then her alt, she now fully refills secondary fire and resets overheated status. So that means that her, uh, the meter for her healing refills upon using her alt so she can alt and then immediately start healing uh, and then remove the damage fall off penalty on the sunstruck explosion. So again, uh, that fall off in terms of proximity or distance uh, has been removed. So some slight buffs for Alari. Um, this actually, I think, will be a, a pretty significant impact. So um, Yari was already kind of tough to go against, uh, and this feels like it's going to make her even stronger. Uh, Life Weaver increased his uh, projectile for his weapon, uh, the speed of that from 70 to 80 meters per second. Uh, and then the pedal platform is no longer pierced by piercing projectiles. So add a little bit more survivability to the pedal platform. Um, 
So life weave remains, Razor. Rejoice. You boy got some love. You're welcome. Still don't life grip me. Uh, then we've got some bug fix stuff. Um, the one I'm actually really excited about is the second one here. It says increase the volume and clarity of ultimate voiceover lines. How many times have we been streaming or playing and I get taken out by a junk rat alt that I didn't even know was happening because I couldn't hear the voice line? I'm hoping this is actually happening and that you'll be able to hear the ultimate voice lines uh, more clearly. Um, especially when they're like big team fights, it can be really hard to hear those things. So I'm hoping that when they say they've increased volume, they mean it like substantially. <laughs> um, because again, there were so many times that I, I remember it specifically with Junkrat just because of his, his tires tough to detect sometimes, but um, I'm hoping that they really, <laughs> really clean that up for us. Um, other than that, I don't remember seeing, I did like a quick glance through some of these. I don't remember seeing any that were like super huge. Radical stuff. Fixed a bug that allowed abilities with shockwaves to hit targets in a floor below. I don't remember noticing anything like that, so... Um, that's great, I guess. Not overwatch. Um, Bastion's hitbox becoming desynchronized while in assault mode. Again, don't really remember noticing that, but... Soundtrack effect wouldn't detonate if the damage threshold, threshold was reached in the last 0.6 seconds of the effect. Okay. Cool. So again, um, more more tweaks than I think a lot of us were expecting. None of these are really... I mean, I guess of all of these, the one I play the most is probably Ana. Um, so I don't think it's going to affect how I play so much, other than obviously having to deal with other players who play these heroes, but... Still exciting. Very excited for the Year of the Dragon event. Play. Let's um let's warm up with some quick play. Just to get our toes wet. And then we'll see what folks want to do. Yeah, I can still see the delay on live space. I don't understand. I really want to like it over there, but... I, I, need, I need that delay gone. I've been playing some more Syrico lately. Am I good at it? No. But she's fun. But she's fun, though. That's our team. All right. Who do we have? Diva, Genji, and Ash. All right. Y'all go first. The enemy is here. Over here. I've got you. You thought you get her off me. Oh. Of course, there's a tracer. I licked my wounds. Let's go. I also licked my wounds. Pushing the bear 
Not that pedal, sir. Not that pedal. Babes, what are we doing? What are, oh no! Can we? Well. I have a bad feeling about this. Not really sure what our DPS are doing. Interesting. Because it doesn't feel like they're doing a whole lot, and I feel like that tracer is kind of just doing whatever she wants. Like a gentle rain. A gentle rain. I already hear the tracer behind me. What are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? I love when the tank hides on the other side of the pylon. And then I know she's gonna complain about not getting healed enough. Don't you love when that happens? I know I do. Oh my god. It's like we have two teams. There's me and the tank and then the DPS and the life weaver just doing our own things. And even the tank's not really paying attention. There's a, a tracer right behind you. <laughs> if y'all literally just turn around. I licked my wounds. Let's go. Do I ever do much wall climbing? No, I don't. No, I don't. I believe the robots are with us. Don't you? You're on your own, kid. Um, I just need this tank to have a little more, like, awareness. It feels like she's not paying attention to all of the heroes she's letting get behind her. <laughs> Nerf 
I mean, I'm not here doing my best. I probably could do more damage, but I suck with her kunai, so. And I feel like I need to be constantly healing in order to keep this tank alive. See? Now you switch. Well, time to try again. The enemy begins to move along their path. You nerf this. Approaching the final. Yeah, Rachel, right, so that's why Moira is not very common at high rank. Because she doesn't really do anything other than heal and damage. And there are better options for damage. Um, at higher ranks, your cooldowns become a lot more important. Because people know how to use them. Obviously. Or generally. Well, we tried. We tried. I always forget to endorse people, too. What? My bad. Another one, thank you. Another one, thank you. I'm thinking maybe this weekend, if we do a tipathon, we do one with Dead by Daylight instead of Overwatch, since the last one was Overwatch. So if you have any incentives you'd like to see, let me know. Well, I want the XP too, but I always forget anyway. So sorry. So sorry. Crash path. Play Moira, I need a, I need the boost. Thank you so much for gifting five subs. You did not have to do that. I hold the but thank you so much. Brigitte isn't meddling too much with Come on, Juicy Dragon. Somebody's worried he's turning Y'all, if you're in chat, if you're I lurking, you. should say thank you. That's very sweet of you. Hi, babies. Five, four, three, two. Torbjorn. Hey. You say so. Won't be a problem with me doing damage with Moira, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, got one! You're welcome! That maid does not have very good aim. That's great news for me. Hey. Yeah, you better- you better cube up, honey! <laughs> Don't 
She's running. Oh, she's running. She's running. Your May left you. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Got a little greedy. They will learn pain. Twitch, enjoy your ad break. I made like eight dollars off of ads last month. So thanks for that, I guess. I'm not really sure how, but Oh, I have the thing set so that it automatically runs them. And so I think it gives me a bigger split on the ads because of that. That might be why. Why would you alt there? We didn't need that. Girl. Why are you alting? We didn't need that. We also don't need to stay here and keep fighting. <laughs> oh, I should have known better. Fuck him up, Reinhardt. <gasps> Not her rezzing right behind me. That was so vile. Rude. Um, Rude, come break this. Thank you. Oh, Reinhardt, wait. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> yeah, you can join if you want to. I can't believe that Mercy Rester right behind me. Well, yes, I can. Because I'm what? Oblivious. I don't pay attention to things, but I probably should. No, girl. Oh, you better run. No, ma'am. Slay. Let's not overextend ourselves. Where are you going? I know you need healing. I just threw an orb for you. Did you did you miss that? Did you miss the part where I threw the healing orb for you? No? Oh, gotta go. Reinhardt, what are you doing? <laughs> they fucking need you, dude. Ugly. Ugly. My essence has been oh. I think we have a DPS stiff on our hands. Well, I don't think any of our DPS are doing great, actually. Upon further review. As my dad would say. 
tucking on the old hind tit. Which in hindsight, I think was a homophobic thing he was trying to say. As in like the hind tit isn't actually a tit, but. Ooh. Hold on. Yeah, like the one in the back. And I think what he meant was that one's undesirable because that one's not actually a tip. Thank you. An unwelcome interruption. Yeah. Helden sterben nicht. GG's! Oh my gosh, y'all are welcome. GG! We're not speaking of that. We weren't. <laughs> We're not speaking of that. Unless you're about to make a mudkip joke. That's the only acceptable follow-up there. Um, I invite Austin. I'm also going to go grab another beverage. Oh, I have to back out further. Sorry. So sorry. Whoop. Whoop, 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 um, I'm just going to grab another drink. I'll let you watch. Oh! Yes, I'm wearing my fuzzy slippers. What about it? <laughs> Why, yes, I am six four. Not the outbreak. Well. Very interesting. We do not currently have an outbreak here, I believe. <laughs> I will say, not that... Not that this pertains to me specifically at this juncture in my life. And not that there's anything wrong with it if, you, if it applies to yours. There is a clinic very close to where I live now, too. So should I ever be in need? He's right there. Um, Austin, do you want to do voice chat or not so much? Are we having a voice chat day or are we, are we not? My eyes are so puffy today. It feels like I'm having an allergic reaction to something, but it's winter and it's Maine, and um, there's nothing living right now. So I don't know what could possibly be what could possibly be affecting me. Uh, if you want to, Austin, up to you. Up to you. I'll even queue for all rolls. Why not? Why not?
on my old good headphones. That was delicious. You're welcome. First one's free. Shit, I got tank right away. Well. Wait. Let's, um. Let's try new Arissa. Sniper Arissa. No damage fall off. Whole new world. I do like that she doesn't have to reload. That's always fun. You're supposed to stop them first. I see Cassidy. I see a bat. I see a widow, of course. Of course there is. Not the Winston. This does feel a little like her damage does feel a little beefier. Oh, the widow! Wow, uh, that was ugly. That was ugly. I will do better. Mommy way. Arisa is not the fastest tank we have. I think I need to switch to someone with a shield. I think we need someone with a shield. We will have peace at any cost. Round numbered. Stay sharp. Arisa was kind of fun though. Oh. What he said. What is this fucking SWAT team I'm going against? Hello? Girl. My resolve hardens. I stare at our Cassidy. Catch me moving this payload real quick. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't know about the DPS situation here.
Girl, what are we doing? This whole team. Well, I have my all for whatever that's worth. I really don't know what <laughs> what our team's doing. Holy fuck. Oh my god. Not the Kiriko blaming me. Honey. Honey. Interesting how while we were playing, it was the DPS she was bitching about, and then all of a sudden it was me. Again, the culture of Overwatch where you literally have to point the finger at anybody but yourself. Quite literally anybody but yourself. Look within. Consider what you could have done differently. I never said I did well. Not tank again. Girl. Girl! I did not ask for all this. I race again. If I get tanked three times in a row, I'm taking tank off. <laughs> I'm not gonna play tank all day. I'm, I'll be a good sport and play it a couple times, but damn. Even I have my limits. Whatever awaits us, I am prepared. These upgrades, they don't stand a chance. Five, four, three, two, one. Attack commencing. Capture objective A. Stand as one. And we Enemy over there. God, what is with the Zarya fest? Oh. I hate Zarya. Zarya is so unfun. <laughs> like, I don't care if I lose. It's not that big of a deal. But playing against Azaria, whether you win or lose against her, is just not fun.
Alright, I'm gonna go Reinhardt. I'm gonna go Reinhardt. You all can just blast the shit out of her. Get out of here. Get out of here. Nice try, Queen. Nice try, Queen. Where am I hearing this junk rat? coming from or is that just our junk rat no he's over here oh that was good you're welcome i clip Even I was surprised that worked. Oh, I got another one! Yeah, girl. No, thank you. Ah! Kiss my ass. Not this leap dart. A curve. I hope someone's on the payload back there. <laughs> That's why I'm doing this. God, someone get on the payload. What are we doing?
Oh, I would love some DPS help. This may. I would love a little more from her. God. It's the Zarya Fera combo for me. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Stop shooting, sir. How would you like me to kill her then? I can't help it if she's great with her bubble. Take out the people who are propping her up then. Yeah, I'm not gonna play tank anymore. <laughs> Fuck this. Oh, I've almost got my ult. Oh. Normally this is when I would just go Malga, but at this point... <laughs> Switching out of I just think my kid you come in often at like a ten on the thirst factor and you stay at a ten all the time. And I don't think we need to do that. It's okay to be like a little more chill. Well, that was never a separate role, but they had two tanks, yes. Oh, I also, speaking of thirst, I almost tweeted, sent my going live tweet on my alt again Welcome instead of my regular Twitter. Oops.
Another day, another battlefield. I hope your mother is well. The Hashimoto run our neighborhood now, so... Oh, I am sorry to hear that. Sorry enough to help? I love how Austin's always so nice in the pregame, and I don't think anybody ever is like, You too, babes! XOXO! Five, four, three, two, one. Round one. Move out. I gotta switch out my charm, I still have the wreath. Whoop. Um, what? Oh, wow. Uh... Not every day gives you a second chance. Sure, Junker Queen's the right tank for this particular endeavor. Another go, maybe. How do I not have more healing? I'm doing nothing but healing. Manifesting. Slay. Not never, my gift. I know that you can do it. Ma'am. Ma'am. What are we doing, girl? We're dying. Got it. Got it. Oh, get him right through there. Get him, Austin. Yeah, fuck him up. Hi, Six Crits. How are you, friend? Come on in. Yeah, we've been playing a lot of different stuff today. I even played some tank. Regretted that immediately. Trying to branch out. We're getting our asses kicked. I don't know that Junker Queen was really the right choice, but she stuck with it, so here we are. Yeah, I actually played some of Risa earlier, and it is noticeable. 
she did feel um like her damage felt like beefier. how far away I can boot people from. <laughs> so sometimes I just boot thin air. It's fine. Oh. Will I ever maintain? Okay. The changes they're making, I mean... I yeah. Um, I've been seeing a lot of Zarya today, and I hope that's not... I hope that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> I hope that doesn't mean anything for the future. Uh, Cause I really hate her. <laughs> but we, I played I think three tank games, and two of them they had, uh, they were using Zarya, and that just doesn't feel good. Yes! That was good. That felt good. I don't know, I'm glad they didn't touch Moira. Hopefully they never touch her again. Unless they're gonna give her like a shield or something, that'd be fun. Love that. Yeah, lots of Zarya today. Move it. I fought a bunch of you bastions once. You all had wheels and big shots. Um, Razor, can we get a shout out for six crits, please? Exclamation point oh, SO. That might have been a dream I had. That's the one that gives like all of the shout outs. Oh, thank you. We wait to see if Frosty Tools is going to work today. Yes, Junker Queen! I'll turn it up. I guess Frosty Tools will not be working today. <laughs> she said no. That's okay. We all need a break once in a while. Oh, 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 
I don't know why I feel so much more aggressive with Lucio. I don't mind getting ready from their face and fighting. If I were Kiriko or Bap, catch me 20 yards back. If you're lucky. Chat. Well. Time for a remake. I mean, it, it looks like we should be kicking their asses. <laughs> On paper. Bye, girl. You want that louder? Always. Wait, where's everybody else? All of a sudden, I was by myself. All of a sudden, it was just me and a bunch of blue, and I felt very alone and scared, and maybe a little targeted. Probably spend the rest of my life in Silver 1. I don't see that changing anytime soon. I finished another card yesterday. I was 5 and 5. Nobody cared. Nobody cared. Silver 1, they said. Remain in your assigned seat. I was trying to touch. I hate when they boss you around. Girl, you're a diva. You're probably faster than any of us. Fuck off. Anyway. Lots of people with strong opinions on Overwatch today. I guess I should have anticipated that. Being a mid-season patch day, we're gonna be sweaty, bro. This is quick play, by the way. <laughs> In case you couldn't tell, this is quick play, meaning this counts for quite literally nothing. Not that. Apparently, some of us missed that memo. Hi, hi, welcome in. Good to see you, friend. Wow. 
last comp match, I ended up blocking my turn out four people. Time to shut off that. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I think for me, it's if nothing else, it's an indicator of just how much some of these folks need to find something else to do with their time. Like this game shouldn't matter that much to you, anybody. <laughs> Anybody this should not matter unless this game is paying your bills and by paying your bills I mean you're getting paid based on how good you are at it There's no reason to be that Invested Like I make money playing this game, but not by being good at it In fact, it's probably the opposite <laughs> People give me money because it's funny to watch me suck at this game Reinhardt followed me all across this map. <laughs> I killed him at the very end. Nope. We're about to do this again. Oh! Guess not. He had backup. It took two of you. Let the record show it took two of you to kill me. You had to gang up on me. I know Hive. Life happens, you know. Life happens, but I've been good. Uh, I move. I have slay ass internet now. And, um, you know, we're just trying to get by. Waiting for someone to hire me so I can afford to go to the doctor. <laughs> Why does this tank fucking hate me so much? Girl. Razor. Don't encourage him. I literally just told him to stop doing that and now you're gonna encourage him? Holy fuck. We must stop the enemy from advancing. Hi wheels. Okay, we can't all just hang out up here. <laughs> Someone's gonna have to go down there and fight them. No. <laughs> oh. This Reinhardt wants to 1v1. Oh, wait, literally everyone. Oh my god. Give me up for a PS5. Love that. Love that. They will learn pain only glimpsed in me. Let's go, robots. I love how he's just sitting out in the open waiting to be healed. <laughs> so that I can get killed trying to heal him. Hi. Oh no, baby. Go get him, junk rat. Soft him up, softened him up for you. <laughs> no. No. Yes. This ends now. I feel like I'm not even seeing our tank, which can't be good. 
That can't be good. Oh. Oh. Can't kind of lie. They outnumber us. We need to get the robot back. <sighs> Where is everyone? Oh, they're all dead. Great. Great. A taste of poison. What is it mean? The enemy is pushing their barricade. Oh my gosh, our bastion. What are you doing? He had to run away to get his mercy. What a chicken. He needed to go pick up his mercy. Let the push commence. Oh, I can't out-heal all of them, girl! Please! We got so close, and you all had to fuck it up. What is going on? Yeah, our tank and our bastion. I don't... <laughs> Are you all new? You all new here? You know what game we're playing? That was so good, Austin. <laughs> oh, well. Why are you running? Why are you running? Oh, you chicken shit. Girl, this takes such trash. My god. Careful, we're outnumbered. I can't. I'm sure there are things I could be doing better too, but how do you out how do you out <laughs> heal? Stop the enemy from advancing. Uh a three and ten bastion. Or a five and eight tanks. I'm shocked it's even this close. TBH. DPS Moira, hell yeah I am. <laughs> Y'all made me this way. You made me this way. You did this. Of course I hit the fucking telephone pole. Girl, this is too much. This is too much. I can only, my shoulders are only so broad. Three and 12? Is the other team paying you? Whatever. 
I really just want this tank dead. Wow. I can't. <laughs> I cannot. 3 and 12. Don't GG the Rhine. That was a BG. This ends now. Target down. BG. Uh -huh. Let me go indoors. Cool I don't know. Down. You were good, I guess. I know, we out DPS the DPS. We out tanked the tank. Good thing it's this quick play. Austin, I saw you were playing ranked earlier. Do you have a rank yet? Is it higher than mine? Just curious. Just curious. No, just good reason. Welcome to Jungle. Asking for a friend. Over four and four. Okay. Prepare to attack. Select your hero. Let's try Kiriko. Let's see what happens. Oh, Austin's the tank. Well, I'll find my own path. Can't change the world by following all the rules. Austin's the tank main. Interesting. I stand on this panel and wait for someone to open it. Checking in. Fuck me? Okay. A single death can chase everything. Mind my gay business? Got it. I do not fight for myself. Fight oh. Okay, well, <laughs> I've got you. not the res, girl. Just let him, just let him respawn at that point. Yeah, what she said. Oh, Bastion, what are we doing? Oh. Okay. I mean, that's a pretty BS way to use that ult, but okay. I guess. Oh, girl! I gotta go. Oh, I gotta go! I gotta go! <sighs> My duty is time to try again. Like a gentle rain.
Are we just ignoring the junk rat? That's kind of how it feels. <laughs> it feels like we're just letting him kind of do his thing. You know, uh, you thought. You thought. Enjoy the ad break. Love y'all. Mean it. Oh yeah, the ad break thing hasn't been working either. This fr frosty tools must be down again. Sort of issue. Under my protection. Taking it. Let the Kitsune guide you. Oh my god, are you kidding? So y'all are squatted up, because there's no way that she put that bomb on you and you charged organically. That was interesting. There's no way y'all happened to do that. I know, I know. I'm trying. Fucking trying, sir. Why are we all taking? That can't be where you meant to put that, sir. <laughs> that can't be where you were trying to put that tree. Oh, I'm so bad with these kunai. Heal budding. Oh, that's good. Oh! Yeah, the Junkrat is so obnoxious. I have a source, he's not gonna go charging in. And then complain when she dies. Oh my god! Screaming. Crying. Growing up. The chunk rat's behind you. Oh look, a widow that's not doing anything.
Play. That was tough. That was a good Junkrat. A tactical Junkrat, if you will. A tactical Junkrat. Well done. Well done. Everyone, I hope you're having a good day. Still feels weird. To, I mean, it's evening for me, but this is really more of a daytime stream for me. Um, and it's still weird. I'm always like, where is everybody? And then I'm like, oh yeah, they work during the day. That must be nice. Can't relate, huh, Austin? <laughs> oh, gainfully employed? No. Not us. I play video games on the internet. People sometimes give me money for it. Humanity is shackled. I Goes over real well at family events. <laughs> we have a common purpose. Let's Housewife fantasy. You've got a. You've got a. You've got a support system to fall back on. I got a dog. Seeking answers in faith. I got a dog and a fucking part-time roommate. Your little maid costume. All together now. <laughs> okay, well that soldier's fucking me up. <laughs> A little bit more than I thought he would. Ooh girl, ooh girl. Any more juice left to heal you? Yikes. I'm not sure if Ray gets more of a Oh my god. <laughs> Go away. Preparing your cellular makeup. A taste of poison. A shot of pain of wish. And you kept dipsy doing around the fucking thing and I couldn't heal you. I know that it, tanks don't do that on purpose, but it really honestly does feel sometimes like the tank is trying to stay on the opposite side of like the payload or a wall. And it does sometimes feel like they're actively like avoiding <laughs> my heals. 
Yeah, I was trying to heal you so you could survive the Bastion all. <laughs> well, I tried. I tried. Let the Kitsune guide you. Let them out. It only took everything we had. <laughs> A taste of Got him! Don't remember what you doing, girl. What you doing, girl? Well, I don't know why we're playing up so far. Feels like a you thing. Whatever. To start a new. I'm better touch. Best round okay. lost. Oh, she was dead. Kidding. Oh, she's dead now. Well. Score. Yeah, it feels like they're um at least in voice chat because that was coordinated. Um, or they're just all better at the game. That's always possible. Your heart is pounding, traitor. Are you scared? Has anyone ever told you that you're kind of a creep? I think I might go back to streaming on TikTok instead of live space. <laughs> I think that, um... I think that's probably better for me at this point. All right, Sombra. Get some kills this time, huh? What if we? What if we got some elims? Yeah, I just, I mean, we talked about it last time I streamed over the Razor, like, I never get any viewers on live space that aren't also viewing me on Twitch, with the rare exception. You know, TikTok was hit or miss, but at least there were times when, like, when people would show up, <laughs> you know? And those people would come over to Twitch, too. I also feel like there's nobody who comes um, to my live space streams who then turn around and follow me elsewhere, too. Like, they only watch me on live space. Nah. Not, not my goal. Hi, Draggy. Come in. Well, I just feel like maybe my time is better spent on TikTok right now. As much as I would like to make live space a thing, like, it just doesn't feel like it's worth my time. Of course it hit that thing. Shit. 
shit! That's an exciting dragon. Yeah, the Sombra's gotten one Elim this round. Bro, you gotta follow up the, the ult! <laughs> Yikes. Wow. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna play ranked today. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna do ranked. <laughs> this kind of suck. If this is how quick play, I don't think we'll be doing it. <laughs> No, you're fine, also. I don't want to play ranked at all. <laughs> I don't want to play ranked at all. I'm struggling to want to keep playing the game. <laughs> Thanks for the lurk razor. Have a good meeting. I might start tweaking some of my settings now that I feel like the internet stable and better. I feel like I can maybe turn up some of my settings a little bit. Like I'm still on like 30 FPS for everything. Um, I've got my bitrate set to I think 2500. Watch me crash my my entire stream now. We'll see if that helps. I bumped it up to 4,500. And we're still green, so. I'll have to find a good YouTube video for all the settings and stuff, and maybe just start over. I'm also still on Wi-Fi, because I still haven't connected my Ethernet cord to the router instead of the modem. Let me still tap out. Um, I can wald. Just both my rubs. Let's just let's just stick with Moira. Feels like our teammates are having a rough day, so <laughs> I won't get too um too ambitious with the. With the support. You look great, by the way. Same saccharine tone. Same Can you still get unlimited ammo, Austin? Or did they already fix that? No mistakes. No mercy. Oh, what that? I mean, I don't know what that... What are you talking about? Huh? Two, one. Certainly not. Attackers incoming. Defend objective A. Oh, what is our tank doing? Oh, they both did it, so I guess it's okay. Oh, love that. No. 
overall. Well, it's sort of going much better <laughs> than the last time. Junk rat! Oh! Ugly. Ugly! I do like that junk rat cosmetic. My essence has reformed. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Oh. Be careful, we're outnumbered. They're pretty dead. The enemy <laughs> oh, someone come help me! <laughs> I tried. I stalled. I tried to carry. It did not work. Get him! Yeah. Dealt with cynics before. On my way. I do have my ult. We need it. But I'd rather we not need it. Split us. Evolution is a painful path to walk. The dragon began oh. the enemy advances on our way to the Biden. Oh, come on! Oh, I'm for that. Okay. I was like, I'm not really sure what that means. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this, um, the next, what, 10 months before election day are gonna be unbearable, honey. Oh my god, the junker is so close. Oh my god. Girl. <gasps> Hi, Kiki. Welcome in. Oh. I mean, they've always been political. I don't have a problem with political conversations, but I feel like it's going to be like battle of the misinformation. Battle of the shitty options. <laughs> they both suck. I don't want either of them. No, honey. Oh, I'm not over there. Ah! Oh no, baby. Oh no, baby. Yes. Much better. Much better. Rise like the sun. 
We know you need healing. Maybe stop jumping out in front like that and not getting anything accomplished except getting damage. Consider that. Nope. Shit. Dealt with cynics before. Not the trap. No, everybody needs healing. I'm trying. <laughs> Our tank is literally worried about absolutely nothing except for staying on that payload. <laughs> Which I understand, but also... Close one. I mean, I feel like I should have to play the game, but okay. I'm that time we got a team kill. Slay. That's the slime. Recommended bit rate for Twitch. 6,000? Really? Oh, what's a good bit rate? 4,500. We're on 4,500 right now. Not just my internet. I don't understand what that means. I've always had to turn mine down. I'm now at 4,500 and everything seems fine. I'm gonna bump it up. Bump it up, bump it up. Hi, Bubba. Good morning. He's been napping. He's been napping. 
charge. Yes, but it's not just your upload speed, I think. Because when I was trying to match mine before, I was dropping frame. I bumped it up to 6,000 and everything's still green. I still haven't dropped a single frame today. And we're still connected on Wi-Fi? <laughs> and I still tapped out of the game? Not Soldier's GF. Soldier's gay, honey. Accept it and move on. Not the Malga. Follow my lead. I've been through more of these than I can count. Um, a heads up, chat. I am playing um Dead by Daylight after this, and we're gonna do the PTB. So if you wanna play on the PTB with me, I'd say probably like half an hour or so we'll switch. Um now's the time to up update your game. The PTB. Now's the time to do so. Oh, that's right. Soldier's gay friend. Correct. That must be it. So wise, Kiki. Our resident gay person was for her. Chop for the widow. I say as I'm probably about to be the next person to get sniped. She got me with that? Wow, all right. Oh, I called it. <laughs> Disgusting. Disgusting. Time again to try again. Just get the gaze, yeah. You're that like middle-aged blonde white woman who's like, all my friends are gay. <laughs> I don't know, they just like, uh, they just like find me. <laughs> oh, Austin. What is our tank? To oh, I wish the tank would switch. Do you think maybe the tank doesn't know about the nerf? <laughs> Malga is not the it girl anymore. Her name is Orisa. <laughs> it's 2024. Malga. Oh, you're blaming everything on your healers. I know you're not blaming shit on the healer. First off, it's support, not healer. Second, you're literally playing the game they just, the hero they just nerfed. Into the ground. Nerf the house down boot. <laughs> Nerfed the house down boot. Watch me not heal this Malga a single bit. In fact, when he dies, I'm gonna teabag him. If they am. Okay. 
Oh look, I have to 1v1 the tank. Because our tank sucks. <laughs> You don't want a DPS Moira? You're gonna get a DPS Moira. Just wait. Tactical visor activated. Not the panic all. <laughs> Oh, did you need more heals? Whoops. So sorry. So sorry. Austin with the six, 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 six heals. <laughs> Reported troll. Got one. I got one. Can't be both. I can't just be bad at the game and also trolling you. You gotta pick one, babe. Can't pin all your problems on me. When you're a 6 and 6 tank. Playing the shitty tank that just got nerfed. I'm healing. I'm healing. You don't get to pick how I play. Sorry, bro. Sorry, bro.
See, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. This guy's whining for nothing. See, Reaper and I got this. Interesting. Imagine being a whiny little piss baby in quick play. When we won. Allow me to remind the audience. We won that game and he still had something to bitch about. Imagine. Imagine. Yeah, so I think 6,000 is fine. Um, I think the other thing to look at is my FPS, but I don't think I can change that while I'm while I'm streaming. Um, I think I'm on 30 right now, but I wonder if I could bump up to 6. I'll play around with it. Off stream. I would love nothing more than for that tank to show up on the other team. <laughs> I know that's like should I have healed more probably was I not healing him maybe but Malga wasn't a great choice for that map anyway I'll look another no one right <laughs> no mercy. um and he was he sucked <laughs> he wasn't good Stick with me and you'll climb like if he had been carrying us or something okay fine talk your talk but that's not what was happening Hanzo Widow. Well. Well. Well, that's a little better. It was also quick play. Like, calm down. I don't understand why people treat this game like it's their actual, like, life or death. So we have Hanzo and Genji and Malga. They gave us literally the squishiest team to try to heal. Good luck, Austin. The only way this could be a squishier team is if we had like a Tracer. Tried it. Lucio is so noxious. Go away. Not the solo alt. All right. Feels like that was a little bit overkill, but it's your alt. Use it how you want. 
I guess. Thanks for the lurk, the crits. I appreciate it. Gotta get the point, girl. Lost one of their DPS, that's why. Where are we going? This way. Got a lot to say in this game today. I tried to hold that point. Nobody else was worried about the point. They were a little too busy running their mouths. Evolution is a painful path to walk. It's not worth it. Let Ghost and Kitty fight it out. Y'all have fun. Oh my god. Yeah, I think after this one I'm gonna switch over to the Now they're gonna turn around and stomp us. And these people on our team who've been running their mouths the whole time are gonna look like clowns. Then they're gonna blame us. <laughs> they're gonna say it's our fault for some reason. It's got to we take accountability for ownership of our actions. Oh, 
their tank. Cat got their tank. Now, to start anew. Switched off with Malga though. Well, I wish we didn't have the squishiest team Progress on this planet. Oh look, now we're losing. We ran our mouth, and now we're losing. The tanks we played with today have any like in-game awareness like they'll be focusing on the other tank while the entire rest of their team is destroying one of us right behind him <laughs> and he has no idea he's not paying attention to shit very tunnel vision Tank. 
What if we just got rid of the tank roll? Blizzard, stay with me here. What if we just got rid of tank? And went with 3 DPS, 3 support. No more tank. Holy shit, I can't believe we got that. Shook. I'm so sure that was over there. Oh, I think that's someone from their team. Literally nothing except the fuel. Behind you, Austin. No queen. Like I, like I wasn't gonna know you were going for the red, babe. Fuck off. Slay. Come on, hope you're having a nice day. What are y'all having for dinner? That's what I want to know. Seven o'clock, almost my time. Much to everybody's surprise, I have not made dinner. What do y'all have him? I can eat good. God, not the Fera. Not the Fera. I'm on my way. Hi, Shay. Come in. <gasps> Love that. Love that. This ghost guy's an asshole. I'm endorsing the other team. Who didn't run their mouth? The Mercy and the Tracer. That's who didn't. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway! Austin, thank you for playing. That was great. Um, I am going to take a quick break and come back with some Dead by Daylight. So if you want to join for that, you can. Yeah. Ooh, girl. Ooh, girl. How are the games going? They were okay. They were okay. Um, lots of, like, just people running their mouth in game chat. <laughs> Which I, I never understand, but... Um, it was fine. They nerfed Malga. People were still playing him. So, but we only played quick play. So, um, I didn't think it was... Probably a great idea to do some rank today. But, um, yeah, it was fine. Um, we tried some Orissa. You know, she had a little buff, but, um, 
on keyboard. I know, they probably would have done better if they had just shut up and played the game instead of spending so much time lip flapping, but it's Overwatch, and if there's one thing people are going to do, it be rude. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, pretty much. Um, <laughs> Alright, so here's what's going to happen. Um, I'm going to do a BRB. I'm going to switch the game to Dead by Daylight, but here's the thing. Here's what I need y'all to understand, and this is a uniquely Twitch experience. Um, in my past, <laughs> when I try to close Overwatch while I'm still streaming, it crashes my stream. I don't know why. Couldn't tell you. Um, is it going to happen again today? Maybe. Probably. But if it does, just stick around, because my stream always comes back. It just takes like a minute. So you might see the, the stream go down. It doesn't mean it's over. It just means um, my computer couldn't handle closing a game. Goose is here too, yeah. Um, he's licking the floor, so I don't know what I dropped that he was just eating. Um, so yeah, so we're going to take a BRB. And just know that if the stream crashes, that I'll be back, I promise. <laughs> I'll probably take Goose out real quick too. Um, he's been pretty good, so. Um, yeah, so thanks for playing Overwatch with me, Austin. I appreciate it. Took a little dive into the patch notes to see what um, the changes were. Nothing, I think, super, super, like, earth-changing. Unless you're Amalgamain, maybe. Um, but I guess we'll see how it shakes out. All right. Take a quick BRB. Go ahead and grab a drink, grab a snack. Follow me on all the socials. Throw me a tip. Love that. Um, and uh, go subscribe to my YouTube. New video went up yesterday. If you haven't watched it, why? Uh, and when I come back, we'll play a little bit of Dead by Daylight. Okay? Okay. BRB, love you, mean it.
And we're back. Both of us. Hopefully that wasn't too long. I'm sorry. I tried to hurry. I go out and go pee. And then there's this one dog. Um, there are a lot of dogs in our neighborhood. But there's this one dog in particular. It's a Dalmatian. That always seems to be out there at the same time we're going out to go pee. And Goose very much would like to go chase that dog. And so I always have to try to take him to like the other side of the house so that he can't see the other dog or else he won't go. And then I was hungry, so I grabbed a quick snack. And now we're going to play some Dead by Daylight. And it's the PTB, so are we going to rage and quit? Maybe. Maybe. Oops, not me opening Microsoft Teams. Wrong button, girl. Wrong button. No. No. Let's pull up these PTB patch notes. Let's do it. Uh, click after. All right. So mostly, um, I'm. Uh, I think that is the new survivor in this PTV. I can't remember. I think he is. Um, and he's got some cool perks. But I'm more interested in the changes they're making to the game itself. So there's a like an accessibility adjustment. Um, so the field of view one, that one's really cool. Let's see if I can zoom in. Can't read a damn thing on here. Um, <laughs> yeah, that works. Um, so the field of view setting. So this is for I believe it's just for killers. Um, so for players have the ability to adjust their field of view with a slider in the settings menu. This allows players with a first person camera, killers with the exception of Chucky to adjust their field of view, reducing, reducing motion sickness and other accessibility issues. That's very cool. Um, features initially in the beta tab while we allow for thorough testing. Great. Um, so you'll be able to ch change with a slider um, kind of the field of view so that there were a lot of folks who when they were playing first person, they would say they were getting like motion sickness and um, it was triggering some like chronic stuff that some folks had. So um, with Shadowborn, when blinded by any means, gain haste status effect for 10 seconds. That's interesting. I'm assuming that's to help kind of counter some of the um, changes they're making to, well, some of the new perks they have with flashlights, for example. Uh, and then with monitor and abuse, while in a chase, your terror radius is increased by 8 meters. Otherwise, your terror radius is decreased by 8 meters. Uh, the field of view clause was removed. Oh, so some adjustments to accommodate for the changes to field of view. Then this is the generator. This one, I think, is very interesting. Um, so the way, so this was like to help counter, they were seeing like an uptick in three gens, very long three gen situation where um, the game was just getting delayed and delayed and delayed and people were getting stuck in games far longer than they wanted to be or should be. So, um, each generator can now only suffer eight regression events maximum. So that means um, getting kicked. That means if someone's using a perk that like pops the gen, so like um, surge comes to mind, um, those are regression events. And each gen can only have eight regression events uh, happen to them. After that has been reached, that generator can no longer be regressed by the killer, including kicks, add-ons, and perk-related regressions. There's like um, if you've seen like the way No Way Out blocks the door um, switch. The killer will see something similar on the generator to indicate that it can't be kicked or anything anymore. Um, number of regressions per generator is indicated by increasing visual effects after three or more regression events. So they'll have some sort of indicator letting them know when they have um, started to use up more than like half of their kicks for that particular gen. Uh, and then gens at max regression events cannot regress by the killer. Again, including kicks, add-ons, and perk-related regressions. This does not mean that if you like miss uh, a skill check that it won't still regress a little bit. Oh, which is the next bullet point. <laughs> um, failing skill checks still regress generators normally and do not count as regression events. Killer kick regression is increased from 2.5% to 5%. So when they kick, it does regress it a little bit further than it did before. Not a little bit, twice as much as it did before. 
uh, and then gen tapping is no longer possible. To stop a generator from regressing, a survivor must repair 5% of the generator. Oh. That's interesting. <laughs> so you can't just go and like touch the gen and then it stops regressing. You have to repair 5%, so you've got to stay there. That's interesting. That feels fair, but we'll see how it actually plays out. Um, and then regression, of course, does not occur while repairs are in progress. So the way this affects some of the perks, Ruin. Um, so all generators are affected by Ruin. While a generator is not being repaired by a survivor, it will immediately and automatically regress, repair progress, blah, blah, blah. Um, so no longer deactivates when a survivor is killed. So Ruin used to deactivate once you, uh, one survivor was killed. Not anymore. Um, surge and Scourge hook pain resonance. Does not create a loud noise notification if no progress is lost on the generator. Okay, work. Um, oppression only causes a regression event on the generator that was kicked. And overcharge, only the initiating kick counts as a regression event. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, no, like, huge things there, I think. Um, more just to help, like, clarify around the new kind of uh, system here. So we have Alan Wake will be the new survivor. Um, I don't believe there's a killer coming with him, uh, and I don't believe there's a map coming with him. Um, so it does look like it's just going to be, it's going to be like Nicolas Cage, where it was just the survivor. Which is fine. Let's talk about these perks, though. This first part, I'm actually really into. I think it's going to be fun. Um, it's going to make me actually want to bring a flashlight. So the first perk is called Champion of Light. And while you are holding a flashlight, the perk activates. When you're shining the flashlight, you have 50% haste. So you move faster when you're shining your flashlight. If you successfully blind the killer, they gain a 20% hinder for six seconds. Um, that does not stack, though. Then this perk goes on cooldown, blah, blah, blah. So basically, you move faster while you're using your flashlight. And if you're able to blind them, um, they become slightly hindered. So more payoff if you're able to actually achieve the blind. Very cool. Uh, we have a new boon perk called Illumination. So you press and hold the button to um, bless the totem. Soft chimes ring out in 24 meter range, blah, blah, blah. Uh, survivors inside your range or your totem's range see the aura of all chests and all generators in blue. If you have a lit boon totem, you cleanse or, bo or bless totems faster. Uh, and then you can only bless one totem at a time, and all of your boon perks apply to your blessed totem. So, see the aura of all chests and generators. Ah, that's cool. Um, I think that might be super helpful, especially for, like, early players who maybe don't know where to typically find things like chests or generators. Or if you're doing, like, a total boon build, and you want to throw this on top of the, you know, other boon perks that you might be using, great. Um, but I don't think it's necessarily... <clears throat> This isn't going to like change the game and flip everything upside down. Uh, and then the last perk is called Deadline. This perk activates when you're injured. Skill checks appear more frequently when repairing or healing and appear in random places. The penalty for missing skill checks is reduced by 50%. This might be a good one for, again, newer players or folks who are still like kind of getting the hang of skill checks. Um, <clears throat> one, it could be a great way to practice skill checks. But also, uh, if you miss a skill check, there's less of a penalty for doing so. Uh, so uh, this could be a, maybe a, a good build for, again, folks who are new, folks who are maybe coming back to, like me, Dead by, Dead by Daylight. It was a game I used to play, and I'm back to it. So not bad. Again, I think that first perk is really the most exciting one. Um, I could see this becoming um, very annoying for killers. <laughs> I bet killer mains are not super excited to see that one. Understandably so. Um, but it does look like it could be fun. The other two, eh, they're all right. Um, some updates to Hillbilly. Uh, a lot of updates to him, actually, I believe. Um, so his... Yeah, his overdrive. Or what used to be overheat. So it used to be that if you held um, the chainsaw button long enough, this overheat meter would fill up, and once you overheated, you wouldn't be able to use the chainsaw. You'd go into it's like if um, it's like if Bubba was in his chainsaw thing and, and hit something, like he goes into his little frenzy. Same sort of concept. Now, overheat has become overdrive. So instead of holding that chainsaw being a bad thing and something that hurts the killer, it actually becomes a good thing. So now, 
when that meter is full, the chainsaw goes into overdrive instead of overheat. And so overdrive um, puts um, increases your charge speed, so you move faster, sprint movement increases, and your cooldown is reduced. So it now rewards a killer who's able to hold that button long enough without swinging um, by making them move faster, cool down faster, um, and charge faster. So that I think is going to be interesting to see. Again, I don't think there are a ton of like totally mains out there. We'll probably see a few in the BTB today, but um, and then some base changes. So increasing the chainsaw sprint movement, decreasing cooldown, um, decreasing the miss cooldown, um, increased movement speed during the chainsaw miss cooldown, decrease the size of the chainsaw's collision so that you can't as easily just like bump into shit when you're hillbilly. Obviously that was happening a lot too. Um, and then some changes to the sensitivity. So uh, some big changes to, to hillbilly. It'll be interesting to see uh, if we run into him a whole lot. Uh, and then adding stuff to like, educate about. Um, some new scoring events, so new ways to earn points. Hitting overdrive will now give you points. Hitting uh, survivor with over when you're in overdrive will give you points. Um, you now get points for curving with him. So if you turn a minimum of 80 degrees within a second of using the chainsaw, that puts uh, points into your score. <clears throat> and if you're able to hit someone within two seconds of achieving that curve score event, um, you can also get some points for that. And then sprinting and sprinting hit. Great. Uh, some changes. How much more do we have on here? Oh, not too much. I don't really go into like the bug fixes and stuff because I haven't been playing, so I haven't noticed a lot of the bugs. So it wouldn't be something that I'm, I'm going to be able to really comment much about. But um, some changes to Onryo, which is, of course, um, Sadako from Ringu. So changes to her demanifested um, state. She can gain bloodlust as usual, can enter chases as usual. Um, when demanifesting, bloodlust is no bloodlust is no longer a law. Um, and so she'll be able to stay invisible for a little bit longer as well. Great. So we'll probably see a little bit more of her now too. Not really in love with that, but that's okay. Um, condemned gain from teleports increased to one full stack. Teleporting applies condemned to survivors within sixteen meters. They changed the way the. Tapes work. Yes, that's what I want to see. Um, so tapes no longer grant protection from gaining that condemned status. So this is what happens when her little, um, when your meter fills up around your profile picture. Um, survivors no longer gain condemned if hit while holding a tape. Great. They no longer lose their tape when attacked. Must bring their tape to the furthest TV. Oh, that sucks. Uh, retrieving a tape now takes less time. Good. Inserting a tape now takes less time as well. But there's something about... There's some condition where you can't like, get rid of your condemned state now. Or maybe I'm making that up. All right. So we'll probably see a little bit more of her. That's fine, I guess. Uh, some updates to Blight's um, add-ons. It looks like some mostly nerfs, so decreasing the amount that uh, you benefit on rush speed. New functionality. Increases rush duration by 20% for each consecutive rush. Okay, so rewarding you for being like effective and accurate with your rushes. That's okay. Okay. But enjoy your ad break. Hope you've seen it. Okay, let's oh, change the map. Mount Ormond. Austin, your favorite. Layout main building stays the same, but we decided to address the fact that the front of the building representing an entrance had no gameplay or interesting loop. That's true. It was a big pile of rocks and not much else. So we went through to update the gameplay and make it more fluid and fitting with the loop and to actually add gameplay. The art team went through as well to make things look nice. In the back of the building, we had a couple of tiles that were simple loops but that didn't have interesting gameplay. We went around to update this and improve the quality there as well. I'll be interested to see what 
What do you mean by that? Add interesting gameplay. I'm assuming that means they just added some more loops. There maybe is another pallet or two there. Let's see how it goes. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Let's just jump into this PTB, huh? Again, if you want to play, let me know. PTB is only available on PC, on Steam. Um, but it is free, so if you want to join, you just have to go to your Steam and update your game to the PTB instead of live servers. And then you don't get to keep any of the blood points you earn in the PTB um, or anything that you might unlock during the PTB. Uh, but you also don't lose anything either, so. All the same, honestly. Thanks for sticking it out to the ad break. I appreciate it. Oops, that lag. I have now dropped one frame. <laughs> one single solitary frame. Um, if we find that the PTB is not that much fun, uh, we can always switch back to. It doesn't take super long to update. Are we excited for Alan Wake? Who's played Alan Wake? I have not. Evil Win 2 for free a while back. I've heard really good things. I think I got that too. Was that maybe the Epic Games free game for a period? I feel like I got that for free at some point. Yeah, I think I got it too, but I've never played it. I hoard games from Epic. I got Alien um, Isolation that way too. I got all the like Tomb Raider games. I haven't touched any of them. Not a single one. Not a single one. Let's play Alan. Um Wait, let's let's put some blood points in so I can have more than one perk. Let's do that. Not that many. Yeah, I think I got a couple of those. You just never know. You never know when it might come in handy. You never know when you might suddenly decide to you know, edit your content. Two perk slots. We're getting there. Slots, honey. I don't even care about what perks they are. I will say, I understand that it's like licensed property and so they don't get to pick, but do we really need another like sort of generic bearded white dude in this game? I feel like unless you're like an Alan Wake super fan, you could tell me that this was Nicolas Cage and I would believe you. You could tell me this was just some random new survivor that they added, and I would believe you. I wouldn't, like... Do we really need all this? No. But I'm glad for the Alan Wake fans that we have it. I guess. I've also never played. I've heard Alan Wake 2 is really good. I have not played it myself. But it does feel a little bit like... We've already got enough. Uh, this is better. 
<laughs> Give me some more fat people, that's what I want. Give me some more thick, juicy survivors and killers. All right, we got a perk slot. All right, so let's um, um, I do want to try Champion of Light. This one looks really cool. landing <laughs> I mean we'll try his perks and just see I'm gonna forget to boon a totem I'll tell you that much I'm gonna forget to boon a totem I'm also terrible with flashlights so don't judge me do we have any cute cosmetic or don't Sure don't. Put on all my fight turn. Oh. Gotta make sure that they know. Um, did anybody want to join? Did anybody download it? No. Okay. Fine. Y'all bring a flashlight. Hello? Didn't y'all get the memo? We're flashlight gamers now. dodging the lobby accidentally. What? This is it. Lots more sounds on this guy. Um, is Alan Wake British? <laughs> is he British? What did that sound mean? Gloomy today, innit? Come now. Oh, 
saying right over there. Play. Is that just the sound it makes when you score points? Like grating metal. It's Tuesday, in it. Why can't I find a totem? I gotta get. Some, I gotta get my boon on. There's usually one over here, right? Not the DC, girl. Really, you're gonna DC on the PTB? DC on the DBD PTB LMNOP? Embarrassing. That's embarrassing. Where's the fucking totem? Oh. Stop it! Ah! So ugly. Stop it! Stop it right now! I still haven't found the totem. This is part where I DC. Oops, all bot. Don't talk about my kip like that. Not the bot being the one that comes to tape me. That's interesting. That's interesting. Wait, finish healing me. What are you doing? Wait. He didn't finish healing me? Are we for real right now? He didn't finish healing me? Can you finish? Thank you. <laughs> I just need a totem. I don't understand. I don't. Is everybody cleansing totems? Y'all out here stroking bones? You mean to- oh, my. Blessing! See? Squeaky wheel. Stroking bones, you wanna stroke these bones? Blessing, you're welcome. Pretty cute. I would like the opportunity to use this flashlight on him, but I don't think he's going to give it to me. This guy seems like he's at least mediocre at using that chainsaw, so. Yeah, stroking bones. Ain't nothing wrong with stroking a few bones once in a while. We've all been there. Times are hard, 20 bucks. A few bones. Twenty bucks for some of us. Some of us fetch a much higher dollar, but much more competitive rate. I can't remember what my other perk is. We have boon. We have the flashlight one, and then we have oh, the one where it, if I'm injured, uh, it messes with my skill check. Maybe that's why he stopped healing me. He healed me halfway, so that if I wanted to go and use that perk, I could. That might be it. 
five shillings for a rub off. Yeah. You know. Just between bros. Bros doing bro shit. Oh, Gen Rush. Incoming. Mm. Oh, he sees me. It's Dova. <laughs> no, girl. Go. Girl. Oh. <laughs> Not the vault. <sighs> Not bamboozle. Oh, bye. Ya. See ya, wouldn't want to be ya. That was some pretty good looping. Y'all can clap for that. Oh, not the key. What am I going to do with that? Alright, I need a gen. Ooh. Oh, did we three gen? We sure did. Sure did. Disgusting. <laughs> Disgusting. Promising. Oh, girl. Now that's a 360, bitch! That's a 360. Ah! Ow! I gotta go. <laughs> Hi, anarchist. <laughs> We're just discussing the rate for, you know, a good, good bone, bone stroking. <laughs> Nothing wrong with a little bone stroke between friends. I got you, Bone Breaker. You can have. Let me stroke those broken bones. 
Great skill check, you're welcome. Great skill check, you're welcome. Five strokes and your fifth is free. Yeah, you get one of those little cards for your wallet. <laughs> Bogo Strokes, that's my new um, grinder name. <laughs> that's my new grinder name, Bogo Strokes. Honestly, it sounds like a good drag name. I hide amongst cattails. Oh my gosh, Anarchist, thank you for gifting that sub. That's so sweet of you. You are far too kind. Wait, 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 wait. Come over here. Not the face camp. What did this guy do? What did this guy do? I deserve all that. Oh my god. Ah! Oh my god, I'm the best at this game. You cannot tell me a damn thing. Get me out of here. Oh, no, sir. I gotta go. I don't know where the doors are. Oh, ah! No. Come on, please. Please. I crawl out. Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Uh, go. Shit. Wow. That's it. Not the moochin. We love our moochers. Oh, Time to go. Oh! Oh! Sweating, honey. Sweating for the wedding. That was good. Ah, I got a flashlight stun. That never happens. Literally never happens. No wake left behind. It's true. True. Austin, you got some real strong feelings about Miss Hillbilly. For someone who's into Jeff, you've got some very strong feelings about Hillbilly. Perhaps unpack that. Perhaps explore that a little more. I think you'll find the line between the two. The line betwixt the two Alice. is thin. What have I done? All these voice lines. So he's not British. <laughs> Got it. Austin, that's very strange. I hope you know how weird you are. <laughs> I hope you know how strange you are. I turn off my display capture. I'm a professional streamer. Well, that was fun. That was fun. Let's let's put in some more blood point. Am I about to become a flashlight gamer? Maybe so. Maybe so. Jeff, 
just has a certain genie best boy. If you say so, I'll take your word for it. I don't understand how you can be into Jeff when Felix is right there, but to each their own. I am going to need some better cosmetics if they ever want me to play this man in real life. This ill-fitting brown suit? No. No. Absolutely not. Not today, not tomorrow, not ever. Felix is a pillow princess. Jeff would put in the work, and I know you know that's right. Um I don't I don't need him to put in work. I need him to make money. And Felix dresses like he has money. Isn't Felix um isn't Felix an architect or some shit? I don't need someone who's gonna go climb a mountain for me. I don't need someone who's gonna like maintain a pack of sled dogs. I need someone who could afford to pay other people to do that. Duh. I don't need someone coming in smelling like tree sap and regret after a long day out in the woods or whatever he does. <laughs> I understand that's very much your aesthetic. He sure is dressed, he truly is. He looks like he's going to show up at your front door trying to sell you life insurance. I think. I want these map add-ons. When am I ever going to use map? Jeff works at the gas station. He's so real. Yeah, well. I don't need him coming home smelling like that either. I need him coming home smelling like money, I mean. <laughs> Uh, that's what I want. Maybe that's why I'm single. Ouch. That hurt. Ha! <laughs> Alright, what other perk can I add to this? Um, how about life? I feel like with a, with a hillbilly, life might be a good option. I'm also going to take this one off. Because uh, I don't like it. <laughs> um, and we'll put... <laughs> Adrenaline. Mm. Adrenaline. I do like a good adrenaline play. What else? We'll take the boon perk off. I don't like her either. I don't like her either. Mm. There's so. Oh, blast mine could be fun. Do blast mine. Why not? Oh wait, no. Let's take um adrenaline and we'll do inner healing or whatever it's called now, inner strength. That's better. That's better. I agree. Uh oh, we're empty. Good thing I keep three drinks handy at all times. Hello, TTV. Let's look up this streamer and see if it's their guy. One of us. <clears throat> it was like eight o'clock. Uh, oh, I don't know. They're a Spanish streamer. Or they stream in Spanish. <laughs> what does that word mean? Uh... 
Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think they are. Jason thinks Leon is the most attractive survivor, which is, you know, very eye roll. Leon is... <sighs> I understand why. He's, like, very conventionally attractive. But, particularly amongst the queer community, there are a lot of people who seem to forget that Leon is, in fact, a cop. And I understand that queer men in particular are all too happy to put that aside. Better get moving. Um, in the name of bone stroking. But can we not stand for anything? Like, Where'd you come from? Of course he has ruin. Is this the same one? Is this the same? What are the odds we get two werewolf hillbillies in a row? What are the what are the odds on that? Oh please. Oh, bye, girl. Are you for real? This is disgusting. This is the PTV. Why are we doing this? Why are we playing like this? Why are we playing like our lives depend on this? I'm gonna have some words for the hillbilly, I think. And I'm dying. Oh my god. Oh my god. Maybe I do want to just be out of this game. <laughs> Maybe I do just want to be done with this one. This guy's so gross. Like, why are we doing this? Why are we playing like this? It's like the people who sweat it out on quick play. Like, for what? What's the reason? Reason. What is the reason? Who are you doing all this for? <gasps> Hi, Doxy. Welcome in. Things are good. How are you? I was lurking your stream the other day while you were doing your makeup. I was updating my resume. Look at chat, but. We literally haven't even touched a gen yet, I don't think. And he's playing as though it's one gen away, and we've got two of them. Kind of nice. Ow. For real. This real life. What we're doing. 
I would have healed you, but okay. It really makes me want to get a flashlight stun on him, but I know that I know that I probably won't. This guy's using the same cosmetic, but it feels like he's much better at hillbilly than the last player was. Or maybe this is just a better map for him. Fuck that. Played a little Overwatch earlier. Ruin. So annoying. I want to at least get one gen done. <laughs> at least one. I do like that when you hop off the gen and get back on, it gives you the little line so you know when you've done 5%. That's helpful. That's good to see. Alan woke. Alan broke. No, just put me on the hook and kill me, please. I want to be done with this match. Very much. I would very much like to be done with this match. Not the streamer, just sitting there. Wow. Booning a totem. For what reason? I don't know. He's about to be all by himself. But okay. So much fun. I'm really glad that killers are still assholes. Even in the PTV. Glad those things don't change. Should be somebody I know. Oh, they're hiding their name. Shocking. <laughs> Disgusting. Put me down. <gasps> well. That was fun, I guess. What one might call fun? Not Return of the Drift King. Anyway. Anyway, we might move over to live servers, honestly. <laughs> I've kind of seen all I really wanted to see. And it's not like there are tons of big changes. Sure. 
Maybe we'll, we'll do one more PTB round and then maybe we'll switch over. <clears throat> into what have I gotten myself into maybe you gonna die that's what you're into you're gonna die uh I robot why am I the only one bringing a flashlight is that perk not as much fun as people as I thought it was At least people are playing heavily. <clears throat> Usually when I play PTB, like nobody's playing the new hero, new killer or new survivor or like there are people who are just playing random whoever they want to play. I guess at least people are playing him. That was not the same hillbilly though. Interesting. Very interesting. I right, just, just walk forward. Just walk forward. Don't mind if I do. Girl, not the blight. See, this is more what I was expecting. <laughs> too soon. Yeah, see on live space, I literally just loaded into the game. That's how bad the delay is. over here gen jockeying. He's not camping. Great skill check, you're welcome. Okay.
I gotta go! Love that. Good. <laughs> oh, where'd you come from? That was ugly. That's fine. That's my first thought. Hi, Lucy. Welcome in. This is a good blight. I just wish she wasn't playing blight on the PTP. That's all. Although, there are some changes to blight. So maybe he's playing around with the add-ons. Maybe he's playing around with the add-ons, I guess. The one who just died. So sorry. Oh, girl, he's right there! Oh, well, I tried. I tried, honey. Gotta go. Oh, I'm sorry, your friend died. I feel like these killers are playing, like, their lives depend on it. And not, um... Not like it's a PTB. Very strange. Or maybe I'm not playing like hard enough. Maybe I'm the one who's not taking the game seriously enough. Healing. This first hook. Ah! Yeah, he has. Perfect. Oh, they're great. Ah! Ah! Disgusting. Uh, I hate this guy. Why are y'all playing this game like like your children are being held hostage and you have to win to get them back? This is the PTB. He also got himself off the hook. Here I am trying to bust my ass, sacrifice sacrifice myself. Or this guy. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Yeah, I think we're gonna switch to live servers. This sucks. This sucks. If I'm gonna have to put up with these killers, I might as well be able to keep my blood points. <laughs> if I'm gonna have to put up with these killers, I at least should get something out of it. Not the T-posing.
Anyway. Um, so we're going to switch to the screen for a second. I'm gonna switch back to the regular servers. <laughs> I don't understand why people have to play the PTV like that. I think I've seen enough Alan Wake. I have seen enough. Let me um switch back to the regular <laughs> to the regular servers. Just annoying. I'm good. I don't need all that. How's everyone doing? We're very quiet today. Everyone's very quiet today. That downloaded so fast. Hello? Oh, now we're patching. Just kidding. Just kidding. All finished with work, switching computer. Oh. I'll overlook how bougie that makes you sound. <clears throat> Making dinner, love that. Love that. We are doing something in the Discord, so if you're not um, already part of the Discord. Starting later this month, I think I said the 28th, that Sunday, um, we're going to start doing a little family dinner. So what we're going to do is we're all going to hop on a voice call. People can bring whatever they're having for dinner, lunch, breakfast, whatever meal is happening in their time zone. And just kind of chit chat, hang out. Um, I thought of doing it because we have a lot of folks who hang out here who either don't play games at all or don't play the games that I stream. So they're, they're not big like Overwatch or Dead by Daylight or Fortnite, like any of the games, horror games. So they don't really get a chance to like hang out on stream as much. Um, so I thought it'd be a good opportunity, especially for those folks. Uh, to maybe participate more fully in a way uh, that might be a little bit easier for them. There's an event in the Discord. That was my point. Stop oh, cheese. Oh, yum. Yum. Um, I think my roommate's on his way home. He asked me if we need anything. Should I tell him to pick up Taco Bell? A large pizza. We actually do have a pizza place where we just moved. There's a pizza place near us now that's so good. And I'm pretty sure the owners are a gay couple. So it's easy for us to justify going there because we're like supporting the community. We're patching. We're about a third of the way through patching, and then we'll fire up some regular, regular matches. Let me see when it's supposed to start snowing. Oh. I think it's snowing now. <laughs> I think it's snowing now. And then it's supposed to get windy. Around like 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning is when it's supposed to get super, super windy. And then through, I think, early afternoon tomorrow, it's supposed to be like 50 mile an hour winds with gusts up to like 70 miles an hour. And I'm just really hoping we don't lose power again. But I have a bad feeling that we're going to. Because every time it gets windy in Maine, we lose power. PTB, what's 
uh, not like super, super sweaty, but people were like playing it like they were real games. Like I was trying to play around with the perks and like there's a new flashlight one. And I was trying to test it out and see how it worked. Um, but everybody just kept downing and slugging us and trying to hook everybody. And I was like, this game doesn't count. We're supposed to be like trying out the new shit. Hello. <clears throat> Um, it's gonna start as snow, but it's supposed to warm up overnight too. So like right now it's twenty six degrees, so it's gonna start as snow, but then by like five in the morning tomorrow it's gonna be thirty eight degrees. And most of the day tomorrow it's gonna be in the high forties. So I think it's gonna switch to rain and then everything will just melt. But then I'm pretty sure the day after it's supposed to get cold again, so everything's gonna melt and then everything's gonna freeze. And that's when we start losing like tree branches and Things start blowing off of houses. I still have, when we moved here, that storm happened right before we moved in. And so there are pieces of the building that blew off of this house that are just sitting in the front yard. Like there's a handrail that goes across our little porch. Part of it just fell off and it's still just sitting, leaned up against the front of the house. <laughs> I've never met my landlord or talked to him. Um, but I was told when we moved in that he was going to work on that. I have yet to see that. So now I'm worried another piece is going to blow off of our house. Yikes, that's wild. I saw there were some tornadoes in the like, Florida, Alabama area. Yeah, so there was, there's a handrail on the front that blew off. There's a piece of, um, like, the handrail on the back side of the building that just blew off. There are random, like, shingles and things all over the yard. There's a window screen on the ground in front of my house. None of our window screens are missing, though. So I'm not sure where it came from. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> he's also trying to sell the building. So I get, I get the vibe from this man that he's going to do the bare minimum. Because um, there's also, like, a for sale sign in front of our house. Like, he's, the day we moved in, they had a showing. Um, they were showing it to some people who wanted to buy it. So I don't think he's particularly motivated to really do anything. But I would appreciate it if he would at least come and clean up the shit. Um, once it get, gets warmer, I want to, because there's also a bunch of tar that's just, like, chewed up. Like, it looks like somebody went and, like, tore up part of our front yard, uh, like the driveway, and then just left the pieces there. And I want to clean that up, because I think it, I'm afraid it's going to hurt Goose's teeth. There's, like, a sharp corner or something. So, lots of work to do. But, bottom line is, I'm pretty sure we're going to lose power. <laughs> at some point between tonight and tomorrow. And I just hope that it's not out too long. <clears throat> there were wooden steps to get to our front door that were rotted and when they broke the groceries in. Yeah. Yeah, I get that kind of energy from this guy. There's no heat in most of the rooms in our house. <laughs> so, like, where I where we are, it's, like, very open concept. And so there are two heat vents here in the big, this is like our living room, dining room, kitchen like combo. There are two big vents here, but it, there are no heat vents in our rooms. <laughs> There's no heat vent in the bathroom. Um, they left us each, in each of our bedrooms. We have a space heater that we did not bring here that the landlord just left for us because there's no heat in those rooms, but they're not enough to heat the room. So I literally, I have it plugged in. It's running 24 seven. I haven't turned it off other than when we leave to go to the grocery store or something because I'm afraid of burning the house down. Um, when I go to bed, I put it and point it toward my feet. But then I sleep like my upper half is cold. <laughs> so, But our electricity is included in our rent, and that's probably why. So I don't feel bad running it all the time. Mm hmm And they left, because this used to be a building, uh, it, it is still a building, it used to be a business, and um, they had like a deli in here, and so they have a heat pump, so they can keep it cool and dry. They left us that, so in the summer we have air conditioning now, and that's also covered by our rent. So. There are perks, but also I get the sense that this guy's not interested in really spending any more money on this place than he already has, so I'm hoping whoever buys it will be... A little better. There's a guy at Jared's gym. Uh, my roommate works at a gym. Uh, and there's a guy there who is clearly well off. Like he gave Jared for Christmas, he gave Jared a Nintendo Switch. 
just because. Um, and so I made a joke and I was like, you should talk him into buying our building. <laughs> and then maybe we can get some more heat vents, get some of the updates that I would like to see. I don't think a lot of the walls in here have any insulation. <laughs> that would be nice. Uh, and the guy's actually like kind of maybe thinking about it, so. <laughs> That would be nice. Because I like the location and the building itself is nice. Like, this could be a really nice place. It just needs heat, you know, the basics heat, walls that we can actually screw things into. There were like a, there was a thing on the wall here by the door when we moved in with hooks. So you could put like your coats and things on it. I put my coat on it and the whole thing fell off the wall. It just fell out of the wall. The screws, like, there was nothing for the screws to hold on to other than sheetrock. So the whole thing, it's literally sitting in a box here waiting for me to figure out how to put it back on the wall without it just falling off again. <laughs> I know, imagine living in Maine and wanting heat. So high maintenance, what a diva. Imagine paying still very good money. Like I know that I, I pay less rent now than I did before. It's still not cheap. <laughs> I want to be clear, the house I lived in before was very fucking expensive. What we're paying now is more like Average, I would say, for Maine, but it's still not cheap. Uh, <laughs> and so I would like to have a place that's, you know, livable. I'm really nervous about losing power here because of how cold it gets, even with power. Literally like modern version of my place. Bad insulation and coat hooks falling out of small porch unit. Yeah. I think that there are, I think that there are no studs. Like, I don't think they put any studs in between, like, when they went and framed everything out. Because uh, it's clearly just threw up walls in here to turn it into an apartment when they moved it from like a business to residential. And so I don't think they insulated any of those interior walls and I don't think they put studs throughout that wall like they should have. Or if they did, they're not in places that make sense. Um, so I think that's what's happening is just so then everything just falls out of the wall. Jared was like, oh, we'll just put them up with like command strips or something. And I was like, but then that's just going to peel the paint off the wall. And not that I'm worried about the paint because the paint's fucked up too, but okay. You're all right. It's just the neighbors, Bubba. Hi. No. Do it. You're all right. You're fine. I know. You want to bark at them so bad. You want to bark at them so bad. You're all right. You're okay. Making a lot of noise. They do that. It's okay. Oh. I find her down. I'm not worried about putting most stuff up with command strips. That's fine. Um, but something like a coat rack, like that's gonna get heavy. So, like I'll put my poster. I've got posters, and I've got a painting that a friend of mine did that I'll put up. But I don't want to put anything super heavy. You know, I want to do all that. Stud Finder is also my name on Grinder. We're now verifying this update, by the way. Thank you for my somehow my viewer count has gone up, and I've literally just been sitting here running my mouth about my apartment. <laughs> well, I guess maybe that's what I should be doing more often. Maybe that's the content. People actually want to see. We'll see. For now, it meets our needs. It'll be nice once it warms up, though. There are a lot of really um, cute little stores and things around. I want. Lots of parks. You can go meet some new dogs. Oh, you like that idea? We'll see. I should have run an ad or something. Bad streamer. Sorry. So sorry. Hopefully you've taken this time to go watch my latest YouTube video. That would have um, been a smart way to use your time. This task now carries old shack. <laughs> Honestly, it's not that bad. Like if they had taken, um, if they had given this place like the budget and time that it needed when they were converting it, this could be a really cool place. 
Um, I do like how like open it is. I don't even mind how much smaller it is than where I lived before. Um, it's just that you can tell, I can tell that they went cheap on everything. Like there's a, a wall here and it's this little like kind of outcropping between like ha the halves of this big room. And I'm assuming there's some sort of like duct work or something in there, but it looks sort of like they just like built over a fireplace. Um, and I'm pretty sure they just threw like plywood up on the wall and then painted it. <laughs> like, I don't think there's, this is an actual wall. I think they just, you know, took whatever was cheap that they could find, painted everything gray, and, you know, called it a home instead of a, a business. Which is their prerogative, but like, now you're trying to sell it, and I'm sure that anybody who's looking to buy a place like this is going to notice how, like, kind of low budget is. No, it's literally, like, I don't want to tap it because he'll start barking, but, like, it literally, I think it's literally just, like, particle board or something like that. And they... I could probably put a screw in that and it would hold because <laughs> it's not sheetrock. But... but the ceilings, though, people love the ceilings. Although I think they painted over those, too. Is what it is. It's affordable. I like that everything's included except for internet. Oh, breaking news. Courtesy of Zach Bussey. Twitch is laying off 500 people. Twitch is laying off 500 staff representing 35% of the company. Let's pull it up. Five hundred employees. Move is designed to stem losses after two rounds of layoffs last year. No, I don't want to have to subscribe, girl. IGN. I bet I can watch. I can get that right. No, not a buyout. Not a buyout. Um, concerns over losses as well as the departure of several top executives. Twitch announced in December that it would be shutting down its office in Korea in February. Twitch has come to dominate the streaming space since launching back in 2011, but has continued to struggle with costs. In a post announcing the closure in Korea, CEO Dan Clancy described operating in that country as prohibitively expensive. Bloomberg reports that Twitch remains unprofitable. Elsewhere, the games industry continues to be impacted by layoffs. Unity also announced they were cutting 25% of their staff. I saw that too. Um, I actually have a friend who works at Unity, and I don't think they were one of the ones cut, but obviously it's nerve-wracking. Um, and I think maybe the more concerning trend um, for some of us is how many times we're seeing companies do multiple rounds of layoff. Like, this is not the first time Twitch has done layoffs in the last year or two. Um, that's what's... In increasingly concerning to, at least to me as someone who was also laid off like um how many times we're seeing companies do a layoff and then like a year later they're laying off more people um that is not a good sign <laughs> not a good omen um as much as like joe biden is bragging about how great the economy is doing um that's not that's not much consolation to the people who have been affected by these Layoff. As someone who is one of them, <laughs> I can tell you that doesn't fucking help, bro. Yeah, Twitch. I don't think has ever been profitable. Um, at least since it has kind of became part of the Amazon family of businesses. Um, not the launch error. Excuse you. Uh, Twitch has never been profitable, and I think that's what a lot of people don't necessarily understand. A lot of streamers and viewers on Twitch don't seem to understand. They think about how. Uh, Dead by Daylight's not loading for me. Well, maybe we end stream instead. <laughs> maybe it's time to just end the stream. Um, 
I think it's easy for those of us who are on like the customer side to think like, oh, well, it's owned by Amazon. They have tons and tons of money. Twitch doesn't have access to all the money that Amazon ha has access to. Amazon apportions a certain budget for Twitch, and Twitch has to operate within that. Um, and it's very expensive to run something like Twitch. If you think about it, 500 people represents 25, what does it say, 25 or 35 percent of the company? 35? 35. 35%. So that means they've still got over a thousand employees at Twitch, plus all of the infrastructure that goes into supporting something like Twitch, plus things like marketing, plus things like regulatory uh, you know, requirements and reporting. And multiply that by however many countries Twitch still does operate in. Like Twitch is a wildly expensive company. Um, and that's not to say like that's how they justify like taking half of our subscriptions. That still sucks, um, especially knowing that subs are probably not where they get most of their money. It's probably the ad revenue that they're getting most of their money from. But um, yeah, a lot of companies don't make money. <laughs> um, I think there's like a weird perception that just because the people who work at these companies have a lot of money, uh, that, that means that these companies are like wildly profitable. It's also bullshit that like probably Dan Clancy or some of these other leaders at Twitch could probably take a pay cut and avoid cutting a hundred of those employees. Um, it's often the case that like the CEOs of these companies doing all these big layoffs make enough money that if they just took a pay cut themselves, they could save the jobs of some of their employees, but they won't and they don't. Um, they'd rather cut 500 people who make 60 grand a year than, you know, have these people who are making hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars a year, um, take a cut, but that's capitalism. <laughs> that's capitalism. Yeah, this game's not loading. I don't know why. Don't know what to do. Maybe we do task manager and see if I can force close it. Not even running. I don't know, girl. I mean, it's happened before. There, there are cases where, um, where executives have taken a pay cut to avoid um, having to lay off folks or avoid having to lay off more people than they already have. Shows me jumping in and out on your theme. Yeah, it's it's loading, but then as it's it's like loading up on the like little Chucky screen, um, it gives me a a launch error. Like the little bar fills up all the way, and then it says couldn't start the game. Please help us by re reporting the issue. Error code three zero 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 five. Create file failed with thirty two. I don't know what any of that means. <laughs> And gives me the option to go online for a solution and close the game, or just close the game. Create file failed with 32. It'd be great if these error messages actually told you what the problem was. How to fix. Mostly occurs when running games protected by easy anti-cheat. Um, you're probably trying to run a game protected by the service, but there's some issue with the service itself or the game files, which is preventing the game from launching. Okay, great. Just tell me how to fix it. I don't care what caused it. Perform some preliminary check. Oh, I'm not doing all this. It wants me to go fuck around in like my easy anti-cheat files and reinstall shit. No, we're not doing that. No. Mm, I'm not doing all that. <laughs> I'm not going to go do all that. We'll just go ahead and wrap up the stream. <laughs> I've been going for almost five hours anyway. Um, I'm really just trying to rack up some hours on Live Space. Um, I've mentioned before that part of this boost program that I'm part of with them, there's like a minimum number of hours and things you have to stream in order to qualify for the boost revenue. And so I'm trying to like knock that out. So I'm at 14 and a half hours for the month so far. Play. So I think I have 10 more hours. Today we've done almost five. Um, what I might do, honestly, once I hit that 24 hours, is I might just start streaming on TikTok for the rest of the month. Um, because again, as much as I want Live Space to like, be a 
a good use of my time and energy. It really just isn't. <laughs> um, it really just, it isn't. I've only had two people in my chat the entire time. It, one of them's Razor, and the other one is this, this botch who's been here a couple times, who's also, I think, uh, like live space uh, kind of exclusive. So I don't know. I want live space to be like, I want it to work out, <laughs> and I hope it does, um, but it just doesn't feel like I'm not getting, for a platform that is, that claims to be dedicated to discoverability and finding new creators, there isn't even a place right now on LiveSpace where you can go to look and see all the people you follow who are live now. So you're encouraged to go follow new creators, but then there's no place to go and see who you follow that's live right now. Um, you can only find new creators or whoever like is being recommended to you. Um, it just doesn't feel like I'm getting any new viewers or like members of the community and nobody's jumping from live space to any of my other platforms. They're not joining the discord. They're not coming over to Twitch. They're not following me on social media. Um, so it just doesn't feel like the discoverability that's supposed to be what makes live space so great. Uh, yes, Doxy, there's the link. Um, just, it doesn't seem like it's really like materializing, at least for me. Um, and at least not now. So, will it maybe sometime? I hope so. Um, it's still very new, but um, I don't know. Right now, it just feels like I'm streaming to a, an empty room because I know Razor's there watching, but I also know because of the delay, Razor's got my live space stream muted and he's watching on Twitch. <laughs> um, because the delay is so so bad. Um, like I can see. I'm like probably 30 seconds behind on live space right now. Hi, Andy. Hello. <clears throat> and so I don't know. Um, I just feel like I was getting um, I feel like at least when we were on TikTok, I was getting like a pretty steady stream of folks who were then coming over to Twitch, who were then following on social media, who were then coming into the Discord. Like it felt like there was some payoff there beyond just TikTok. Um, it doesn't feel like that's really happening. If anything, I see live space becoming like kind of more and more its own little community. Like I see people on live space who are like, I'm not gonna go watch anybody on Twitch. I only watch on live space now. I only stream on live space now. I only post on live space now. And that's the opposite of the mindset I want anybody in my community to have. Like, I want you to be willing to follow me to another platform. I want you to be willing to follow me on all the social media. Like, I want you to be able to, to connect and engage in like all these different ways if that's something you want to do. I don't want you to be like, I'm only going to watch you on live space. I'm only going to watch you on Twitch. Um, so it feels, if anything, like it's kind of going backwards. But not that Andy. Yeah, like TikTok felt like, I mean, as much as, TikTok can be its own nightmare. I've been banned on TikTok like half a dozen times for no good reason other than just being in drag. Um, but it, at least like it felt like it felt like I was getting somewhere on TikTok. You know, I was numbers aren't everything, but they matter. They matter to me at least. Um, this time last year, I was probably averaging like eight or nine viewers. When I started streaming on TikTok, that started going up. I almost had 20 average viewers at, at that point. Um, and ever since I stopped streaming on TikTok and started streaming on live space, I'm back down to like 10, 12 average viewers, which is still good. Like that's still good, but, um, you know, it feels like streaming on live space has been hurting me, not helping me. So I don't know why I've been getting banned on TikTok. Yeah. Um, I think I get mass reported. There are trolls who show up because I have a mouse. Um, and they wait for me to say something that they can turn around and try to report me for bullying. Usually when I'm in drag. The discoverability kind of offsets. Sometimes. I mean, there are times when I stream on TikTok that I don't have anybody watching me. Plenty of times. But we've also had, like, there was that one time I had 400 people watching me randomly. I don't know why. I don't know where they came from. Um, but I got a lot of follows out of it. And when I stream on TikTok, my TikTok posts do better too. So instead of getting like 200, 300 views on my TikToks, I'll get like 400, 500 or more because I'm also streaming on TikTok. So it feels like TikTok 
for better or worse, like reward you for streaming on the platform too, even if you're streaming to nobody. So it's hard, you know, I want to be able to stream on live space and have it be like a mutually beneficial arrangement. But the reality is this boost contract that I signed with them, which is not exclusive and I don't have to stream on live space, but it's a way of rewarding me for doing so really only benefits me if people are watching me on live space and if people are subscribing. The only benefit that the creator gets out of this contract is I get a 100% sub split for a year starting this month. But in order for that to actually benefit me, there have to be people subscribing to me on live space. And if there's nobody watching me on live space, nobody's going to subscribe. And if nobody's subscribing, I'm not making any more money than I would otherwise. And even if I do, like I know Razor's a subscriber over on live space. The regular split is 85. So I'm only making an extra 15% on live space, which if I'm only going to have one subscriber amounts to 60 cents, <laughs> 50 cents. You know, if I were, uh, I'll be transparent. I've got 94 subscribers on Twitch, which is mostly because the last week of December, there was that big promo about gifting subs. I don't normally have that many subscribers. But there were a lot of people gifting subs because they were cheaper. If I had 94 subscribers over on LiveSpace, okay. That 15% difference in sub split would be much more substantial. But is it worth giving up what I was getting out of TikTok? And dealing with like the hassle that comes with streaming on LiveSpace and dealing with the delay and everything for 50 cents? I mean. When I could just as easily, if there are folks who want to subscribe on a second platform, I've got a uh, fourth wall for that. And I keep, I think, 95% of the money people spend subscribing to my, my fourth wall membership site. And I've already been posting on there. So, I don't know. I would love to be able to be that person who's like on every platform doing everything, posting YouTube videos, members only on fourth wall. Streaming on live space and on Twitch and on TikTok and doing all kinds of... I would love to be that person, but I just don't see it for me. <laughs> I don't see it for me. And doing it all in drag too? No. And I know that's also probably part of why I don't have the kind of traction I did before. I'm well aware people... Far more people watch me when I'm in drag than when I'm not. I get it. But... I don't know, girl. I don't know. It feels like um, maybe I need to like trim things back and just focus on focus on the things that are actually serving me and not putting all this time and energy into something that's not really paying off for me. An on staff makeup artist. I can do that part. What I need is a I need a social media person. That's what I need. I need someone either a social media person or a video editor. If I could have one staff member, if I could just pick one role to hire somebody to do, it would be that. If I ha could have someone who could take my streams and edit it down into like YouTube videos and TikToks and shorts, I can do the posting. That's not the hard part. I hate editing video. Hate it. I absolutely can't stand it. That YouTube video, I did it. I didn't like doing it. I don't have fun editing video. Um... Which is part of why I don't post as much as I could or should on all these other platforms. Because it's not fun to edit video down. I can do clips. That's why I always urge people, I'd rather have 50 clips and only be able to use half of them than have nobody clip anything. Because it's way easier to just take a clip and turn it into a TikTok. Rather than going through my VODs and editing everything down from scratch like that. Uh, I can do the makeup. If I had someone doing those things for me, I would probably be in drag a lot more too. Because um, if you think about it, a drag stream becomes take two hours to get ready, then stream for four or five hours, whatever it is. I usually try to stream longer when I'm in drag. So that's we're up to like, we'll say five hours. So seven hours total. And then I spend one hour, two hours going through my clips and editing them into TikTok. So that becomes like an eight to 10 hour, depending on, you know, the circumstances. Plus, then I got to get out of drag. And then if I want to make a YouTube video out of anything that I did during stream, that's even more time. Whereas if I had someone to do all of that like back end stuff, I could just focus on getting into drag. I could make content out of getting into drag because I don't even do that anymore. I don't make TikToks or 
I don't stream myself getting into drag or any of that, but um, I probably would if I had someone helping me make the content on the back end. Do a wig per week. Mail them. <laughs> Honestly, I was talking about this yesterday. I probably should have sent more wigs home with you. I still have a whole box full of wigs that I'm not sure where I'm going to even put them. Um, so I probably should have sent more with you. More potential and therefore is more exciting for me versus something like live wigs. Yeah. I have two editors and still don't get to post a lot. Editing is a very underestimated time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that's why I don't have an editor because I, I wouldn't want to take advantage of somebody who would be interested in doing it for free. Uh, but I also can't afford to hire someone and pay them what they would deserve for the work that they do. So I did, there was a point where I had a, a college student. I used to work at a university and there was a student who knew I was a drag queen and had a very specific interest in doing social media and video editing and things for drag artists who asked if they could do, like they had an internship that they had to do through their, their program. Um, and they're like, can I be like your social media intern for a semester? Um, and I was like, I wouldn't feel right doing that. Cause I, even if it's an internship, even if you're volunteer, like you deserve to get paid. That's such important work and such valuable work. You should get paid for doing that. Um, but I also can't afford to do that. <laughs> so. I also have brushes <laughs> and hairspray. We also have a can of furniture polish that Jared was like, we don't polish our furniture. And I was like, that's for wigs. <laughs> that's for wigs so that you can detangle them. And it smells like lemon. So there are a lot of things I would like to be able to do. Um, I'd like to, first, I need to get a job uh, because then I can start using the money that I make from streaming to invest in more stuff for the stream. Um, yeah, furniture polish. It, um, I mean, you can use something like a spray conditioner, um, but furniture polish will give the hair that like slip that it needs, so you can detangle it. And it smells nice. Hair is just plastic. Um, so that's what I would like to do. Ideally, I'd like to get to a place where I don't need to use. Right now, I'm using. I'm living off of Twitch. I'm paying my bills through the money you all give me through subs and tips and bits and all that. Um, I would like to get to the point where uh, I don't need to do that anymore so that I can take that money instead and invest it in things like hiring an editor, hiring someone to help me with my social media stuff. Laughable. Who are you? Mm, nobody. That's right. Bye, pumpkin. Um, so that's what I'd like to be able to do. Um, because those are the types of things that can start to compound. Because if I say, even if I were able to hire someone to do one YouTube video a month for me, at least then I'm posting more regularly on YouTube, which can then turn into like, I'm only a couple hundred subscribers away from the YouTube partner program, which would then allow me to start monetizing the YouTube videos. And then I have that much more money to start putting back into things like a better computer so I can stream more games or better games. Um, so that's the, the goal. That's my 2024. Like, I don't do like resolutions and I don't have like a list of goals or anything. That's not true. I do. Um, but for stream, at least, the goal is to get to the point where I'm not using the money from Twitch to um, pay my bills <laughs> and be able to use that money to put back into stream stuff or drag stuff or, you know, whatever it is for, for content. Thank you, Austin. Yeah, we were going to play some more Dead by Daylight, but... She's not booting up. And I don't know why. Let's try one more time. Nope. It took longer that time, though. <laughs> so we'll just wrap up in a little bit, but I don't mind chit-chatting a little bit. So that's the goal. And I think that's one thing that when uh, new folks get into streaming, they look at it as like a source of income. Um, and don't think of it as like, at least for the first year or two, your best bet is to take whatever you make on streaming and put it back into your stream until your stream gets to a point where you're like happy with it. 
Hi, Prom. Yeah, we have an error code, but that doesn't help me. I know what the problem is. There, I got a whole list of steps to follow, but I'm not doing all that while I'm streaming. So, no big deal. So that's my goal, is to get to a point where I can take, even if it's like buying stuff to do giveaways with, or, um, you know, if I'm going to start streaming Dead by Daylight again, I don't have all the DLC, so maybe using some of that money to buy the rest of the DLC that I don't have. Just stuff like that where, like, it can help. So that's the goal. By the end of 2024, I want to be at a point where I'm either saving that money for stream stuff, maybe I'm saving up for a new PC or, you know, whatever, a trip to TwitchCon or, you know, to, to some other event, um, or I'm putting that money directly into stuff to stream. But that's going to take a lot longer if I'm only averaging five viewers. And I feel like that's kind of what's happening with live space. So I think we might, we might just pick TikTok back up again. As much as TikTok brings its own fucking issues. Hi, EV. Or wigs. That's always an option. Although I don't have any place to put more wigs currently. Maybe we save up to buy me a better place to live with an actual stream room. I do miss having a whole room for that. Half my closet is full of oven, um, not ovens, <laughs> wigs. Jared uses her oven, or else I would. Right now it's my, my closet. So I've got all my clothes hanging and then all the shelves covered in wigs. Covered in wigs, honey. Although some of them could probably use either a refresh or to be retired. Honestly, the next batch of wigs I send home with Kiki should probably be some of my styled wigs that need to be, like, reset. Those ones with, like, the big finger waves. The pink one and the brown one. We've had them for a while. They could probably use a little, a little refresh. <laughs> it's true. Half of my wigs are at Kiki's now. Except they're, they belong to Kiki. I gave them to her. So I did tell her that, like, you know, if you style one that you think, wow, this one looks like it belongs on Carrie's head. That's fine, but... They are, in fact, Kiki's wigs now. And the mask. I don't want the mask back. Almost right, yeah. So, we'll see. We'll get there. But right now... Right now, I need to stream to pay my bills. So, <laughs> when you tip, if you tip, you are not buying me wigs. You are not buying me a new PC. You are, in fact, helping me continue to pay my rent. <laughs> so, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, and uh, please continue to do so until further notice. Love you, mean it. He's not coming back, no. He, he said she's going to sew some tracks into it. Give him a little bit more hair, a little more, a little more volume, a little more thickness. Um, and she can keep it. She can keep it. Or we'll stuff it and put it like somewhere in my backdrop here. Just like a head. Would be cute. Um, Avidius, have you played the PTB by any chance? We just played a few matches. And then I switched back to live um, servers, and now I can't open the game. So we're going to end up just wrapping up my stream. <laughs> Come on, blowout. Yeah, that'd be cute. That'll be my new mannequin head to put my wigs on. You're not missing much. Alan Wake is like another just generic white dude. The flashlight perk is kind of fun. He's got that new perk that makes him, when you're using a flashlight, um, your movement speed increases, and then if you get the blind, it hinders the killer. That was kind of fun. But his other perks are kind of uh, He's got like a boon perk that lets you see generators and chests within a certain area. That was fine. Uh, and then there was another one that made skill check, missed skill check, it makes skill check show up randomly, and if you miss the skill check, it only regresses half as much. It only works when you're injured. So those other two kind of suck, but flashlight one, it's kind of fun. Mm-hmm. We had nothing but hillbillies. Sweaty hillbillies. Sweaty werewolf hillbillies, which is what we call Austin when he's not around. Anyway. Anyway. Maybe you play the TV. 
Hey, knock yourself out. I think I played four matches and that was more than enough for me. <laughs> that was more than enough. I think we had three hillbillies and then a random blight because some of the blight add-ons got changed um, in tweak two. So there were changes to hillbilly, blight, and um, on Rio. It was cute. It was cute. But four matches was enough. Four matches was probably too much, honestly. Um, Razor, when are you going to start streaming? Not to break your neck and switch subjects on you, but um, when can we expect the Razor Switch experience to begin? Everybody go follow Razor preemptively. He has been tinkering in the, the background and preparing for um, his on stream debut. Not the shout out not working. Well, Twitch said, I don't think so. Not this Wednesday, maybe next. Okay. I try again. There we go. Go follow Razor. Go follow. Um, I think he talked about maybe some, uh, some gaming, but also maybe some like writing. He's been working on a book. A book. Uh, if you're so inclined. You also can go by Austin. Nope, not that. <laughs> Boik. Austin has a book out. You can go purchase Austin's book. I have three copies. Get on my level. This one's poetry, but he's also working on a novel, I'm told. Perhaps if you join the Discord and go look at the, I think, self-promo channel. It's either the self-promo one or the Creator Hub one. Uh, he might have shared a little sneak peek for us. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's find someone to raid. I'm hungry. I have um, a frozen shepherd's pie in the freezer. And I'm going to see how long that's going to take to cook. And if it's less than 45 minutes, that's what I'm having for dinner. If not, I'll probably make a grilled cheese. <laughs> Um, <laughs> because I'm what? Lazy. Unless Jared gets home, he'll usually cook. If I just leave something on the counter, he'll be like, do you want me to cook this for you? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Anyway, who do we want to raid? Do we want to find someone new to raid? Do we want to find someone new to raid? I think we do. I go to Overwatch and see if anyone's using the drag tag. I use the LGBTQIA plus tag. What are we feeling today? What about... What about, I see a silly goose tag. I am immediately drawn to the person. Variety streamer with the wholesome community hoping to bring you some laughs from me and my friends. He, him pronouns. Lives in the lovely swamps of central Florida. Afraid of cold weather. I follow. I think we found our target. Target acquired. Y'all ready? Y'all behave yourselves. They're wholesome. So don't go in there with your weird thirst posts and saying weird shit. Don't do it. They've got a toe to dial for a follow alert. Behave. They're a Pokemon queer. He's a Pokemon queer. I am also originally from... Not the swamps. I'm from the beach part of Central Florida. Mm. Technically south Southwest Florida, I believe. I'm technically South Florida, but I don't live there anymore. But I was born there. I grew up in Fort Myers. Um, so let's go ahead and raid them. This is Steven Swagmaster. That is a name. That is a whole name. All right, here's the drill. If you haven't raided us before, go ahead and copy whichever one of those raid commands you have the emotes for. I prefer the one with my emotes, my, my Patrick Star ones. I might update that with some of our newer emotes 
maybe the um maybe the new carry 19 churn what if that were part of our raid command scary or no let me know anyway let's go raid steven swagmaster make sure to join the discord if you haven't already we watch drag race every friday night we have family dinner coming up in a couple weeks movie nights tbd follow me on all the socials twitter instagram youtube and tiktok it's free much appreciated uh yeah let's go show some love to steven y'all know the drill follows are free subs are of course appreciated but never expected or required they're at 129 followers y'all know what to do i'm a really good raid target picker so i'm sure this guy's great positive um so behave yourselves remember you're representing not just yourselves but me live space i'm gonna end now love you mean it uh behave don't do anything i wouldn't do uh yeah i'll probably be back whenever my power comes back on if i lose it so maybe tomorrow maybe the day after who knows stay tuned in the discord love you all so much let's go show some love to steven and i will see you all on the internet bye love you